Hello. It's time, finally. All, all these months now, and th this is something that I've been ha half anticipating and half dreading. Um, but it's t it's time for Other M, the uh, the one people don't like to talk about, uh, at least not in a in a positive light anyway. But I'm kind of I'm kind of curious about how this is gonna go, because uh, obviously I know about all the stuff that happens in the story and the the whole you know assassination of Samus's character thing uh, and yes uh, and hello by the way Mao and Guardia and Gaul dreading yeah I keep I keep saying dread specifically uh, in reference to this game partly because that's just genuinely how I feel about it but also because it's kind of appropriate with the Metroid dread coming out but I've played through the tutorial of this just a couple of times while I've been uh, refining my control setup because this this took a while to get working with a DualShock 4. Uh, but the, the what little I've experienced of the gameplay actually does seem interesting and like not bad. It's awesome if played and won't spoil. Well, I mean we'll see we'll see how it goes because there are, like I said uh, aside from the gameplay there is stuff that I'm interested about in this game like certain certain parts of the story and uh, you know certain bosses and uh, exploring how the gameplay you know pans out and because it's it's very unique from what I've seen uh, I I have to give them props for taking taking the original you know the classic type of gameplay and you know putting a spin on it without taking it too far or at least that's how it seems from what I've um, experienced so far but uh, because I've got like weird because this is a Wii game, and it, you know it's not—I I don't have a, a, a mod for it like like with uh, Prime Two and Three, so I can set up you know custom uh, controller icons. So instead, what I've got is a little screenshot on my second monitor that shows me all my uh, button assignments, so I can look over and see what button two actually is. It's, it's A apparently. But yeah, let's get into it. Oh, <laughs> what a disaster! Yes. Hello, hello, monkey. Well, we'll see how it goes. We'll see. I, I'm genuinely optimistic about the gameplay. I want it to be good. I know the story's gonna be a catastrophe, and we're gonna, we're just gonna have a good laugh at it. We won't get too sad. Um, I imagine if we had done this, like before Dread had been announced, and this was actually the last game in the franchise, then it would just be dreadfully, dreadfully sad. But, you know, we've got a game that looks good coming out very soon. The, and this is basically ejected from the canon. Watered down God of War. Oh, dear. And yes, um, I forgot to mention, we've also got the, the baby counter, which I can increment without having to tab out, as you can see. So that's, that's functional. I'll be having that uh, working. Let me turn that down a bit. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I will say um, that I, I've watched through this cinematic like three or four times now, and it does look fantastic. Um, not just the visual fidelity, but uh, some of the animation work, like with Samus and uh, the power suit and stuff, is really great. I same, bro. I ask myself that question every day. Oh, the baby! There it is, number one. But yeah, this is a cool cutscene, and and we just did this the other day. And remember the baby. When perhaps the dread suit looks so appealing, many series fail at giving characters new looks, but Metroid often manages to make great iterations. Yeah, for sure. We had that with Fusion as well, and then they've taken it a step further. But Mother Brain, looking, it's kind of kind of a glow up. I don't know. Yeah, and there she is, Big Mama. Which reminds me, I have, I, I mentioned previously, I have some mind destroying information that I will reveal to you at some point, probably soon. Um, but I, I have it, I have it, I have it prepared. No, the baby! I actually do, f like, f have an emotional attachment towards the baby, having played Samus Returns and Super now. Before, I just thought of it as a joke, but I think it is, you know, there's genuine reason for Samus to have an emotional attachment. So I, I think that's fine. Yeah, why'd she have to do that? It was mean. It was the last one, too. It's just rude. Oh, game audio is extremely loud. Okay. 
One sec. Okay. Now, I've had, I've had it pretty high from some recent games. It's kind of high on my end, too, actually. But it's alright. It's alright. I turned it down a bit more. Mother! Time to what a weird way of saying that. But then look at this! Look how sick that is. Yeah. And then it, it, it worked out okay. And we won. And everything was fine. And Ridley died. Ridley died, finally, forever. Haha. <laughs> Oh, zero suit. It's it's okay, but it's not as good. Uh, I will say, kind of spoilers as for when we get into the when I do the suit tier list, but I I don't like the suit in this game, the power suit. Like, it's it's okay, and it's the one they use in Smash now, which really annoys me. But it it has the worst soldier uh, shoulders, which is why I haven't made custom ones for this because they're lame in this. The Vario suit shoulders. Oh. Which was given to the, me baby. By the baby. And please make sure to let me know if I miss uh, the baby, because we need to have an accurate count. And the explosion that followed destroyed planet Seeing something innocent lose its life, especially in a non-instant way, brave. can really affect a person. Yeah, for sure. Pirates. And you know, it's established that she had at least some emotional connection. The baby. I I'm I am gonna be eagle-eyed for those baby mentions. Yeah, Zero Suit looks fine, at least. Uh, it's on my end. I just, uh, I have hotkeys set up to iterate the counter, and then it works through to OBS. So just, uh, just let me know. And yeah, I thought that too. It was when I was testing this that I found out it's pronounced Zebes and not Zebes. But I looked it up, and apparently the original name was, uh, Zebeth. And then they changed it to Zebes. And it, it makes sense when you, when you know it as that. Also, that transformation was really cool. The way it has kind of the natural looking bug eye thing uh, effect really makes it look like alien technology, which is neat. Funny how many expressions about eye work for you since you have a single superior eye. Yeah, exactly. Right, gameplay. And so far, for, from having gone through this little sequence a few times, it seems pretty cool, the gameplay. I'll try and show you some of the cool stuff you can do. We can do this. <laughs> it can be a little, little gremlin. <laughs> morph ball. The morph ball controls feel good. Yeah. I want to. I want to be optimistic. I'm sure this game's going to crush my spirits by the end. Yeah, it looks nice. It feels good to control. Oh, it does do this. It does the. I don't know. I don't know what games have done this. It like turns it into RE5 controls. Uh, and it kind of reminds me of the the corridor, you know, walking sequences in Vanquish. Yeah, the animation isn't fully there, but it's cool. It feels good. No, I've seen this like four times already. From there, kick climb to work your way up. And it's easy to wall jump. And that looks good. We have we, there's like a cool a couple of cool combat mechanics that they're gonna show they're gonna show one of them and I'm gonna try and show more of them, but we have like a a somewhat timing based dodge counter system which is neat you know I I love that kind of thing like with the melee parry and um, Sam's returns. Despite being a PS2 kid since I have to lock onto it when I visited Blockbuster one day I heard. Things about other M's reception. Interested to see it for myself now. Yeah, that's half the appeal for me as well. Just getting to see it for myself. And I haven't heard much about the gameplay except it's kind of good. See, look at that. It's really easy to execute, but ow, <laughs> and then I fuck it up. But it is cool. You can get an instant uh, charge shot out of it. Bang. It's neat. Seems like the game was sped up to uh, 1.25 times speed. Yeah, yeah, kind of. It is slightly fast, but I kind of like that. This is where my my janky control scheme comes in. I have to I have to hold the right bumper for that and then hit a button. Now this this is janky, right? But um, I had it set up at one point where this was, and it is still janky. I have it on my right stick right now, but I I was able to make it so that. Um, 
it was gyro controlled as well with the dual shot four. Um, and that was extremely difficult. Also, it kind of just drifts randomly. I'm not touching anything right now, but it's bearable and I can hit triangle to um, reset. So I can do the first person movement. This was the dodgiest thing. Oh god, it's still a bit weird, but I think I think we'll be able to bear with it. Right now we got to fight this dude, and what we can do a couple of things here. If he grabs us, we can we can counter the grab, like that. We can jump on his head to do this, and if we manage to knock him down, we can do a like a lethal finisher. But I need to be able to knock him down first, which I don't know if I'll be able to do. Come on, go down. Whole map is huge, so running is needed. Yeah. Oh, right. There we go. Uh, one. Which is one? Yep. Look at that. That's sick. And I think that has unique anim animations for every enemy, more or less. That's really sick. That reminds me of the the parry animations in Sam's Returns. Yeah. It, it almost... It al I, I, it's maybe sinful to say this, but it almost actually feels like a character action game, honestly, with some of the stuff you can do. If they put more mechanics into this, it it could actually be insane. Which is why I think it's kind of a shame that the game was received so poorly. Obviously, it should have been received poorly because of the story. But I feel like the, the story problems kind of overshadowed the gameplay. And they had some good stuff here, from what it seems like. God, this nerd. I wondered oh. if this too was a result of the, the baby. power the baby gave me. Hey Val, hello. We uh, we we're up to four babies already. We barely just begun. <laughs> look at this nerd. Look at the look at the the glasses flash. I I love him and I hate him. Not even a fragment. The baby. None of the baby remained on me. I knew it to be true, but still couldn't help looking God. at my. Get over it. She's she's actually baby crazy. It's ridiculous. The baby. the baby. The baby. Oh yeah, sure. Never. Yes, six six baby. It's ridiculous. Also, hi, Lexi. God, this game. Mission completed. Yeah, we did it. Can't believe the rap phenomenon to babies in this game. Hi, Caleb. Give her a new one. God, I fucking wish. We're not we're not there yet. We have to we have to play Fusion before I decide who my final Metroid waifu is cuz SAX appeals to me, honestly. We'll see. I don't know how much time passed since then. Also, I know it's going to come up. I think I'm also going to uh, increase the count just for the word baby on top of the baby cuz it's going to come up again in a, in a second. Yeah, she's traumatized and baby crazy, you know, how women's be. Baby! Baby. I don't know if this is a real thing that's actually done. Like, if, if there are any SOS signals that are actually like that for that reason. I don't know. It sounds kind of maybe like something that would actually happen. Yeah, baby! It's ridic- Val. Val, it's fucking ridiculous. Right. Because we, we've only touched on the baby stuff so far. But the stuff they do to a character in this game. Because they don't even have a, you know, the usual justification of, Oh, she got blown up, so she lost all, all her powers. It's like, no. And she's not even a member of the Federation military anymore. It's just that she's she's got a... A weird daddy issues for Adam, her old superior officer. So she has to wait for him to authorize all her abilities. Yes, it did it, it get me mega panned. Hey, it's Bottle Station. Totally inc incredibly subtle sim uh, symbolism here with Bottle Station. Delivery makes the use of the word more tolerable since that's the language it's designed in. The M in other M stands for M baby. Oh, we'll get there. We'll get for what the we'll get to what the M stands for. I'll do that in a minute, probably. Yeah, I don't I I don't know what went on with this game. Like the, some of the dialogue, the delivery feels kind of weird, kind of not not as bad, but it feels like 
old Silent Hill and like Resident Evil 1, the way some of the li the English lines are delivered in that. Hey, we're in engine again. But we'll, we'll get to what the M stands for, trust me. How could you just sit there and eat pizza? <laughs> I... I I may, I may joke about them, but I love the lines in those games so much. Had a bad sleep, a bad morning, a bad breakfast, and a bad nap. Now to watch a bad streamer play a bad game! Oh no! Monkey, how can you say this to me? You're right, though. <laughs> God. I'll do my best to make it enjoyable. I am going to have to ruin your lives in a minute, though. Trust me. You might already know this thing, but it's a bit of trivia that gave me, like, a... A Yu-Gi-Oh anime style mind break when I learned about it. Right, I've gotta I've gotta do this shit. Yes. Yes, scan. Scan it. I I was able to do this before. God the the drift Come on. There oh, is that it? No, wait. Hold on, I'll get there. How does this work again? I had I did that there we go. Christ, it's finicky. Love Anthony Higgs, so he's the best character in this entire game, and that's a low bar. We'll see. We'll see. The Federation here. Damn it. Right, now we're actually in the game. And now, since there's a few of you here, there's something I want to talk about that uh, relates to the, incre the just the incredible level of the writing in this game. The, the subtle, I mean, it's subtext, you know? It's so, it's incredible. Let me, let me just, let me just, I don't know how I found out about this, but, um, I'll just bring it, I'll just bring it up real quick. I want you to, I want you to think about the name of this game, okay? Other M, Other M. What could, what could this mean, you know? It's, it's very subtle. I, I'd understand if you didn't, if you weren't able to figure it out, you know? But, if you just, if you just take Other M, and you kind of, you kind of move it around like this, you'll start to see a hidden message the developers wanted to wanted to leave to to su subtly put those motherly instinct like that that <laughs> subtext it's truly incredible I, I I remember I think I screamed when I found this out it's ridiculous it's mother it is, it is Kojima level it's it's genuinely beyond anything we could you know put our minds to. Anyway, anyway, let's get let's get that out of the way. Back to the game. I just I needed to let you know. I needed to curse you with that knowledge. Right, we're in, we're in, and it's it's cool. They do like it's like well, it's not even two point five D. It's just the camera angle makes it like that, but it moves around. It's like the one scene in MGS two with the AI and the internet censorship. Yeah, exactly. Oh, did one of the Bravely Defaults do something like that? Find missiles, the 90 in here. Okay, yeah, uh, I will I will try and keep an eye out. I'm not going for 100% this time, because I don't, I don't think there's anything important. I don't know if I want to spend that much time on this game, but we'll see. Oh, God. So they make a do cool, do cool stuff sometimes. Oh, no, it's these losers. You've already spent 23 minutes too much on this game. <laughs> no! Remember I don't me. remember you, you fuck! Anthony. Oh, God's sake. There's only one person yeah, the suits are okay. I like the, the Prime 3 ones more. I don't remember him. God, I remember seeing gifts of his helmet flipping up. Since way, way back. Princess. Fuck. It's so... Like, they're, they're so looking down on it. Though I will say... I do, I do like that Adam, well, I think it's better the way Adam calls her lady than it, than, you know, the princess stuff. The princess stuff is real bad, but they're still doing lady in dread, because, at, spoilers, Adam's going to die and get turned into a computer, and he's going to be her AI friend in Fusion and Dread, and he still calls her lady when he's a computer, and that's, that's cooler. She's totally a princess, I mean... I mean, you could probably find some kind of justification for that in, like, I don't know. I don't know. Do the Chozo even have a monarchy? Maybe, maybe she would be like a Chozo prince. She's a Nintendo princess. Yeah, totally. Oh God. Yeah, what are you idiots doing here? I'm gonna have to turn off all my powers. 
That information is not for an outsider. God, what a dick. So obviously chose outsider. Why does Samus sound so lobotomized? I honestly, I think that's somewhat sensible. Um, you know, aside from the recent trauma, she was also she also like saw her parents die at a very young age and then got raised by bird aliens and then um and then also had like bird dna in it but it's probably just bla uh, bad voice acting uh, no dice. I think it could be them seeing her that way we'll we'll see this is gonna take a while. But yeah we actually we do need to get to know adam because he's going to be important for fusion and dress we tried using explosives but it's tricky to and never before done yeah. work voice actor. What Seriously. I didn't know that. And we're past the point I've seen now. I only saw up to um, him calling us princess. What if Metroid was emotional? I mean, it, it kind of can be. But you can do it without the, you know, the cinematic cutscenes. My, my cinematic video games. Because, like, you know, um, the other games, to an extent, manage to convey some emotion. It's more difficult. But, I mean, they're probably, they're probably going to try and push some, at least some of an emotional angle in Dread. What if Samus' biological clock was ticking and they wrote an entire story about it? Other M ruins fusion in a way. I imagine so, because of Adam. Adam hadn't authorized it. I decided to Who gives a shit what Adam authorized? God, I feel like I'm going to be saying that a lot. Right, they're gone. Thomas has decided not to use bombs or missiles until Adam authorizes them. Why, Samus? Samus? Samus, we need to have a talk. What do you mean, Samus has decided? I understand power bombs, because they established in the tutorial that power bombs are especially strong. And, you know, they had the whole thing where they the control room had the um, blast shields come down. But what do you mean Samus has decided not to use missiles? Fuck that. I hate that. And I'm going this way. I'm not following those fucking losers. Fuck them. I swear to God, if this is a missile door. But I can't, I can't use missiles anymore. Because, because my Adam, my, my authorization. Oh God, these controls. This sucks. Sometimes people forget that just because something can realistically happen, it doesn't mean a series has built up to it properly yet. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, corridors, corridors. Uh, I don't, I, I don't even have to let it all out yet. I'm, I know, I just know I'm gonna get upset. Oh, hello. Oh, fuck. Bugs. Oh no. Holy shit. Okay. See, now would be a good time for a power bomb or missiles. I mean, not really. They're kind of weak. I could handle that without missiles. What's over here? Oh, there's just a there's just a dot here. What's that? Hmm? Oh, is it a scan thing? I'll be real, don't bother with exploration, you'll only hurt yourself. Okay, I will try. Is it scannable maybe? No. Okay, it's just it's just goo. Just mysterious goo. Seems like I need to get in here, maybe. Green goop reminds me of the baby. Ah, okay. Oh god damn it! Hold on, let me open this and I'll I'll try morph balling around. Whoop. Hmm. Oh, it makes it makes noises when I go over it too. Uh. There we go. And you know, it's 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 weird, but it's like it's like the classic platforming a little bit. And then it brings in the uh the third dimension. Which I I think is at least neat. I I have to give them some props for mixing things up, like I said. Oh hello. And the auto aim's pretty generous, as it would kinda need to be, with the way everything is. Oh god. Oh god, it's these things. 
Yeah, I recognize these. Hey, 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 hey. Actually, 100% appreciate how a kid who has been, who has to, has to be tough and alone in constant danger is shaken by seeing one of her major enemies die helping her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I understand. It, it makes sense that she has an emotional attachment. Like, this whole stuff with the baby didn't, didn't come out of nowhere. Oh, there's a hidden hole in that moss patch. Okay, I, I won't. I won't explore everything, but I'm gonna go check that out. Yeah, yeah. It should have probably been more of a, a gradual transition into being a weirdo. Let's see. Do we bomb it then? No. I'm, oh, Adam has not yet authorized the use of bombs. No, I can't. Adam has not yet authorized it. Meaning she she assumes that he will. But I, I, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, I hate it. I hate it already. It's going to get worse. I know it is. I've, I've heard some stuff about what they do with the authorization stuff. And how she, sh she totally should have just enabled some things. She should have just, just done, done whatever she wanted. Use all her stuff from the get-go. Blow up these uh, other idiot characters. Hey, toilets! Hey, this is neat. I mean, we've never really seen... I, I mean, I'm, I'm walking into women's toilets and saying, Oh, this is neat. But, you know, we've never really seen um, any, you know, living facilities in a Metroid game, I don't think. We can't go in the men's because Adam hasn't authorized it. Luxurious space, space washrooms. But really, we haven't seen anything like that. Um... We've only been on Federation ships a couple of times, and they just seem like, you know, full-on military vessels. Like, no, not not even really living quarters that we saw. But yeah, there's, like, seats and stuff. It's it's something different. This doesn't open. Can we interact with this? Ah. I just pressed random buttons, and it, it let me hit a switch. That's good. Da -da -da. God, how how those idiots get past all these? Where the hell did they go? This is like a classic Resident Evil game. Just the um, the human characters step out of the or the other human characters step out of the room, and it's like, oh, they've they've vanished somewhere else in the mansion. But I could I could go get that thing. I, why do I need authorization? I want my loot. Please, I'll accept being blown up for the millionth time if it means I get to. You know, recover my items in a more reasonable way. Oh, I see. Those dots are are uh, items. I see. Well, like the classic uh, map dots. I see. Damn it. That's that's reasonable. I didn't think they'd be that generous with uh, just letting me know where things are. That explains why there was one on that moss patch too. Okay, this this isn't interactable yet. Samus may be a badass, but more people equals more cover fire. Yeah, I guess. I think they've they've at least got the atmosphere to a degree. It's I'd say it's the appropriate amount of creepy atmosphere for a early in a Metroid game. It could be a lot worse. Ah, and there's another thing. Is that we're gonna have to like spring ball into there? We do have spring ball. Could we do that? Or do we have to get them oh we can't do it from there, definitely. Hmm. Maybe from up here though. We could, like, alley-oop into there. Or maybe go round the back. That's not it. Oh, God. Hold on. This might be doable. I just... I need to check. I can't get on there. Okay, screw it. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to waste too much time on stuff that might not even be accessible right now. Up we go. Elevator we can't use. I know there's some, yeah, there's something in there too. It's nice that they tell you with the icons. You just can't interact with any of these panels yet. Just just know we're gonna have to do a lot of backtracking. Hey! Say save, save. I I'm standing on the platform. 
Yes. I I am standing on the platform. Hello, game. May I may I please save? Oh, we have to I have to stop. Okay, fair enough. All right. I say it's like a navigation thing, but it doesn't give me Wait, do I No, it doesn't give me a map. But I do I have one building, but it's not giving me one. Tiny little bugs. Get you gone. Here they are. How did you get past all that? How did you jump up that giant, like, vertical room? It didn't have any stairs. Oh, God, what? What's the, qual the quality of this pre rendered cutscene? It's not great. He's dead. Someone or something attacked him. Mm hmm. He's green. Yeah, it is nice to have the first person views though. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> this guy. Character established. It was obvious that there was some pervasive danger. This guy is city. reckless. I didn't know what had brought Adam here. But I did know that cooperation was imperative if we were to is it? restore safety. What what can they accomplish that you can't, Samus? Adam Clearly, this facility is in complete disorder. It might be too dangerous. Not reckless, hates bugs. Yeah, just a particular hatred for bugs. Well, it wouldn't have come up at all if there weren't bugs on this station, but just because there happened to be a bug. Oh no! What the fuck is that? Oh, I don't, I don't like that. Jesus Christ, okay. Kind of looks like a Zelda boss. Oh shit, okay, we're in. Hey, hey, Adam, could you maybe authorize those missiles now, maybe? Jesus Christ, oh god. I don't even, I can't even hit the eye. It seems like the one thing I should do. What's that guy just standing next to it? Do you see him? I think that might have been a, an opportunity there. Look at that guy just standing there next to it. Look at him, what's he doing? He's, he's paralyzed. It's him. He's paralyzed by the bugs. He didn't know his phobia would come to get him. Yeah, I guess we've got to aim at the eye. Also, I'm dying. We've got to do it in first person? Because that, that's that's an ordeal. Oh, here we go. Cutscene. Knows its vision is based on movement. Fuck off. That better, that better not work for me, too. That better not unlock an ice beam. Sam, Fuck off! Who? What gives you the right, you piece of shit? You barely, we've barely said one word to each other. What gives you the impression? Like, even though Samus is doing the authorization thing, what gives you the impression that you have that authority over me, you piece of shit? Right, I've got to do this in first person. That sucks. That's why I've got no health. Right, I've got to remember how to do this. Fuck. Oh god. Oh, I can I can heal? Oh. Oh, shit. That's pretty powerful. Okay. Just these controls are fucked. Hold on. Oh god, these this is not the ideal control setup. Aim your console at the boss. I'm trying. Oh god. There we go. There we go. I think I I didn't do any Oh, there we go. Yeah, I I understand. Like, um, I understand they're not using power bombs. Cause like I say, they established that that to be especially powerful. But I think she's, I I'm willing to believe that she's good enough at what she does to be able to control her fire well enough to not kill people with missiles at least. Like bombs, power bombs, definitely. Yeah, sure. Oh, get owned. Oh God, I got owned. And she has, he has to tell me every time. I know. Ooh. Oh, it's a, it's a bug. Ah, oh, it's a bug with like an eye pattern on its back. Yeah, if they just had some dialogue that's like, hey, don't kill my people with your like, incredibly powerful alien technology. And she's like, yeah, okay. Then that would have been fine. 
because it would establish a level of, you know, respect and communication between them. So we could have had this earlier. I don't like the way he says that, though. No? How about fuck you? Instead. Yeah, a, throw a throwaway line would do fine. Lady. See, ladies, cooler. Oh, this is not cool, though. I've seen this cutscene. <laughs> Fucking brat. Not even the fun kind of brat. Look at, look at a pout. Look at her. Yeah, yeah, I, I've heard they say it for power bombs. Any objections, lady? He was joking, but others weren't. At the time, I felt surrounded by people who treated I mean, like yeah. a child. Or used kid well, I mean, you're, I you're incredibly kid. small, and also you're pouting and giving thumbs down during, like, official people. meetings. My past has left me with an uneasy soul. <sighs> and as a result, it touched me on some level that Adam would acknowledge Oh, that God. I hate this. Lady can be cool, but this isn't how, how, how it can be cool. My thumbs down was a twofold response. A sign of derision at being called a lady, and a signal of my complete understanding of the orders. I don't like it. The other soldiers were always willing to support me with easy smiles despite the fact I'm gonna have to get used to these cutscenes. Among them was Anthony. In the face of his well-meaning behavior and that of the other soldiers, my response was to become increasingly God. bitter. You go, you can go beyond being a brat, and a then child. that's when you become bitter and hateful. Don't go that far. A chip on my shoulder, and I was angry. I hey, a Federation like planet. We've never seen that before. Be I don't think. Like the that, surface of a Federation planet. I was scared. Look at that, it's very normal. Except for the flying cars. I could see in Adam's joking manner how the fuck are you talking about, him? Samus? Brat Samus, whoa. It's, it's pretty me appealing. Me. I agree. Me better than anyone else. Confession time. Because I was so young when I lost both of my parents, there's no question I saw Adam's Yeah, understandable, I guess. I think it would be better if we could learn some of the personality details by accessing files on a ship between missions. That'd be okay. Yeah, she actually has daddy issues. She has daddy issues, and now she's baby crazy. Ugh. No one understands me. <laughs> understands me like him. He can fix me. Ugh. This is awful. Don't oh, 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 350 credits. Okay, okay. But yeah, it's definitely not something I'm used to. Especially af after having played all these Metroid games back to back, it feels weird seeing long cutscenes again. Thankfully, Nintendo basically doesn't acknowledge this game anymore, so we can we can comfortably pretend it's not canon. Mm -hmm. Is she gonna do the thumbs down? Be careful as you make your sweeps. And there's one problem. I would totally be her daddy. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, sure. Is all pervasive. Your comm systems are useless. I I would certainly at least try to fix her, but I'm, I have no confidence. Well, I mean, if she's if she's ba like we said before, if she's baby crazy. There's a way we can fix it. Oh my god, look at this. It's the fucking opening to Resident Evil 1. When it brings up all the character profiles with live action actors. This is so lame. <laughs> the little sparks and shit. And the little 3D models spinning around. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. KG. These guys, these guys are all going to need saving. Each of you is authorized to use a freeze gun. Do not forget 
to check in regularly via navigation. <laughs> what the incredible cutscene. And Samus, you go to the system management room. Do everything you can to get the electrical system back up. KG Misawa is named KG in the Japanese dub. Ah. Like your comm system is still that makes sense. I don't know why they call him KG. Remember, everything you see. The Americans won't be able to handle it. The Bakagaijin. A Japanese name? No, we need to localize it. Oh, hey, bombs. Yes, yeah, it is pronounced the same. Fuck off. Yeah, so this is the one they do. You should have said, should have had this before. Yep, they've they've justified the strength of the power bomb, so I understand this, but not the other stuff. Once the mission in the system management room is complete, I need you to report back. I'll give you your next orders then. I, want you all to be so I think I think things are getting better in games in general about uh, not over-localizing things. Uh, there was an article I read. The oh fucking hell! Here we go. Thumbs down. It was the first joint mission I've been a part of since becoming a freelance. Is that true? What about what about Prime? What about Prime? What about Prime Three? Does so that does that not count? Having received mission orders from Adam, I can't remember what I was saying. I uh, oh yeah, there was an article the other day the about how I, I don't know. I, I can't remember who actually said the Adam. thing, but it's just that people are realizing that the way for Japanese games to succeed in the West is not to overlocalize them, because people just want, you know, Japanese games. Other oh, M ignores greater canon. Of course it does. <sighs> hey, we got we got we got bombs. We can get a few things now, I think. So this is just locked. Okay. I assume it's not a missile door. Samus, Shut up, Adam. I need to fire a missile at this door. Oh, no, we can't. No, we can't, because we need to lock on to even fire missiles at all. Yeah. But yeah, where are we actually at? There. Okay. We got a few things on the way back. Oh, fuck. And I can, I can just heal? It's not letting me do it now. Right? Okay. I was able to heal before, but now I can't. Maybe it's just when I'm low. Blue dot will appear all when all the enemies around an item are defeated. Ah. Okay. So there's the thing. They wanted to do some different things. They went with a lot of emotional self-reflection, but I bet there's no squad commands in this. Yeah. Ah, I see. Go in there. Ah, it's just a hole. I thought we were going to have to bomb it open. Ah, there we go. Eh? Oh. Missile tank quad. It just, like, froze for a second in, and, you know, didn't come up with the text. So I thought I had to, like, bomb the item or something. We got an extra missile. One whole missile. Let's go. And, uh, no, fuck it. We don't need to save. It's fine. Although we did just do a boss fight, so let's maybe save. Probably won't be necessary. We'll see how quick it is. Then I might be willing to do it more or less. That's that's pretty quick. That's not too bad. Okay, where's the thing in here? Oh, it's below, right. What about in here? Now it's probably the terminal, which we still can't do. Oh god, let me down. We. I will say though, despite you know the slight jankiness of my control setup, the controls do feel fine overall. Best time fifty minutes. Oh god. All right, we can go get that thing. But yeah, I'm, I'm no speedrunner, as I've said before. So I'll just I'll I'll go at my pace and figure it out, and we'll. Uh, see how this game experience goes. Right, now I can get this thing. Gimme, what are you? Is that an E-Tank? It is! Okay, E-Tanks are now red. Good to know. Oh, is this one mandatory? That's how we get in here. Oh, I guess it is. Beep. Uh, that, no, that doesn't look legit at all. That looks gross, actually. No, I don't like that one bit. I just 
can kind of just sit here and hit the fire button. I'm sure it'll get harder. Eventually, haha. <laughs> oh, do I need to missile these? Okay, I understand. Clear out the boys, then missile their home. Hey, there we go. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, these controls. Could be worse, but it could be better. Hey, that went well. Now I hit the button again, and now it works. Good. Well, that was easy. Okay, now go back, r report back to Daddy Adam, sure, sure, sure. Let's go see if we can go get some other stuff. I want loot, damn it. If I can't have a good story, I'll at least have my, my loot dopamine. By God, I swear. Uh, that's the bathroom. Right? We didn't... Yeah, we can't even morph ball in the bathroom, because it's one of these uh, weird RE, RE4, RE5 segments. But no, we got the dot. And we can't even go back. Okay. Alright, fair enough. If you don't want me to backtrack, I won't. Won't put these, these people through more of uh, suffering through this game than is necessary. Oh, you can push the doors in the bathroom. Ah, oh, I wondered about that. They didn't really look movable. But, we'll see. I mean, you've always got to have that uh, in any game with any, like, horror elements in it, you need to be able to open the bathroom stall doors. Even if they've got nothing behind them, which most of the time they don't. Ha, but how? Ooh. This one's vaguely open. They don't seem interactable, though. Hmm. Now, I'm pressing every button. I can't, like, push them. I can't go in first person, can I? That doesn't do it. No. At least that one's slightly ajar. Aim. I I am aiming. Oh god. Yeah, I guess not. Okay. Oh well. So it's a it's it's a nothing room. Oh, I just had a I just had a horrible thought. I don't I don't think I'm gonna uh, repeat what I just thought. No no no. No, it's alright. It's alright. I had a, I had a, 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 an unrelated thought. But no, I won't, I won't say that on stream because I'll get cancelled. That's a bad idea. Interesting that, like, missiles, missiles can be reloaded like that. And it has, there's the health thing too. Oh god, what the fuck? Oh god. Oh hello. Oh fuck. Right, yeah, we can jump on this guy. We'll jump on these. That's cool. Oh, I fucked it up. Right, so it's when I'm fully charged, which is basically straight away. So we can do it really quick. Ow. Oh, God, I'm low on... Oh, well, I'm not low on health because I got an E-tank. God, the, the depth perception is not great here. I can't, I can't tell when I'm on top of him. There we go. Items, yes. Ooh, I didn't even think that would actually work. Let's go. Hey, God, that's a long animation for, like, picking up what accounts to one missile. Strange. But anyway, may maybe I'll get a, a handle of the controls to enough of a degree that I'll actually use the missiles. But we'll see. Oh, fuck. There we go. Right, back to Adam. I need I need I need Daddy's instructions so I know what to do. Hmm. Oh, can I take the elevator now? Okay, cool. Oh, I can probably interact with that panel now, right? Yes. Yeah, cuz the power's back on. I see. 
No, I can get whatever that thing is. Cause that's that's not an E-tank or a missile. Oh wait, did the floor underneath that um, that um, morph ball hole open up too? Oh wait, did that that didn't that didn't even open up that room. Hmm. Wonder how we do get in there then. Huh. Well, at least I get this thing. Ah, there we go. Sure enough. And it's just another missile. Sick. Oh, fuck. Ah. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I'm not going to save. Oh, no, I need the health, though. So I'm gonna doing it doing it just to heal. God, I, I hope that this game isn't too much of just straight corridor and you know run back and forth down it a handful of times. Dare I dream? That was almost a neat camera angle though. All right, Adam, what now? I did I did your work for you. Samus. His mouth's not even moving. Fucking Wii games. Oh, Lyle, that's the guy who hates, bu uh, hates bugs. I remember. Oh yeah, just take a leisurely seat, my guy. Yeah, yeah, that's why I liked the little glimpse out in his face. I wish it had pulled out a bit more, but it's, it was okay. Oh, we got a map. Vaguely. Okay. And we've got actual seamless elevators now. Even though they're very... They're not really the big, you know, area traversing elevators. But it's something. I wonder if we'll have that in Dread. I wonder if that's been shown at all. Like the elevators between zones. If there even are elevators between zones. It might just be all one uh, all one map. Hello. Ooh, hold on. Are we, are we bomb jumping? Maybe. Oh, it's, it seems like it doesn't get as much uh, in the way of height. Oh, God. This seems like not the way to do this, but I've got to give it a try. Maybe. Maybe. Nah, fuck it. I don't care. I do not care enough. <laughs> I love being able to walk around like this. She's like, look at look at the way she's walking. She's like on her tippy toes when I did that. Hmm. Why can I not wall jump off this? Come on, game. I could totally make it up there if I could just wall jump. But they've arbitrarily decided, no, you may not wall jump uh, off of this surface. Oh, it's these things. They're back again. I thought these were only in Prime until I saw them in Super. Oh, I always forget the button. Keep getting the jump button wrong. Uh. There's cool animations. At least. I wish these enemies were a bit more than just that. Please. Oh, God. That, that was on him. There we go. Is this a missile door? It kind of looks like a missile door. Oh, there's more fucking enemies. There we go. And the door opened arbitrarily. And what's up with this one, though? Aha! Oh. Fuck. Oh, it's a power bomb door. Hey, at least it tells us, but we're not authorized to use it. So, fuck me, I guess. Even though there's no one around. Whoa. This is a fancy room. Oh, for sectors one, two, and three, I assume. So this is like our world hub. It's kinda it's cool looking. I'll give it that. Sure. But we're only authorized to go to sector one, so that's where we're going. I'm not gonna stop being salty about it. This elevator is bound for sector one. A level three. Warning is now in effect in sector one. Oh god.
All right, sector one. Let's do it. Let's do it. Proper gameplay. We're out of tutorial zone now. Let's do it. God, the station is big. That that room alone just felt massive to walk across. I don't know. I don't know if there's even any checkpoints. They might be as brutal as uh, as Super Metroid in this, honestly. Oh, and that does give us a map. Oh, okay, fair enough. It looks like a straight line again, though. Yeah, an L-shaped corridor. I know these. Hey, this is interesting. They got weird plants in here. They got they got Venus man trap. Although I will say, the fact that missiles are effectively an infinite commodity, and they seem to be a, a, you're pretty effective against actual enemies, um, may may make this game have the best missile economy of any of the any of the Metroid games. But we'll see. I'd, I have to do the finicky aiming to actually access it, but it bodes well. And yes, the first-person visor is always so cool. That was. Uh, from from a very young age, that was one of the appeals of the Prime games for me. Just being able to see inside the visor. I think that's such a cool thing. Just getting a glimpse of the technology and the, the actual perspective. I love that. It's very cool. Good thing those were authorized or I'd be fucked. Hello. What the fuck are you? Oh! Lizard! Okay. Oh, this guy looks kind of cool. Oh shit! He's actually invisible too. Please don't tell me I have to use the visor for this. That would be... That would be nightmarish. Oh! Yeah, yeah, cool anatomy. Oh! Oh my god. I am grabbed. Oh fuck. Uh. Yeah, get blasted! Oh, that wasn't even a boss! Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, this is just an enemy type. Okay, sick. Come on, show yourself. Ah, we can, we can use the visor like that, okay. And I can dodge out of the visor, so it's not just death if I do that. Oh, fuck. Oh, he got... What'd that tongue do, though? I'm I am sorry to have said that. I don't know how I did that healing thing before. It might only be when I'm low. It would be, be busted if it wasn't. What's that above me? Yeah, I don't think I didn't see it. Oh, God. Uh -huh. Oh, no. I don't, I don't want bugs grabbing onto me like that. I, I've read enough material to know how that kind of thing goes. Don't ask. Some fine cultural art, but no, not not now. Oh, you can just vault over things. That's kind of cool. I don't need to manually jump. We go up. Those are just decorative death plants, I guess. Oh, that one isn't. Oh, God! Oh, no! Jesus Christ. What the fuck? See how our legs were just sticking out? That was almost comical. Okay, gotta keep an eye out for the real ones. It's another thing I dislike about bugs. The potential for disease or bug guts on me. Yeah, bug guts are not nice. I, I stepped on a spider once, and that, that was enough for me to never want that to happen again. Oh, like I got, I got it on my hand, and it was gross. Get ready. For okay, I will get ready. I don't know if I'm even going the right way. I might be. I don't, I don't want to go the right way. Yeah, I'm going the right way. I don't want that. Right way is for nerds. Uh, yes, this is the wrong way. Or wait, no. Is it? Let me see. Why does this way lead? 
No, this is the right way. I was going the wrong way the first time. And then I got it wrong that I was going the right way. When I was actually... No, when I... Yeah, I, yeah, I thought I was going the right way when I was actually going the wrong way. Or something along those lines. I've, I've gotten myself very confused. Right, up we go again. Very slow, very slow spiral staircase. Oh, there's more. Oh, wait, no, there might not be more because it's blocked off by plant. And it's a save and a door I can't go into. Sick. Hmm. Man, I mentioned this earlier, but I really don't like... Oh, okay. Yeah, so these all do uh, show you new parts of the map. I like I like that. It kind of reminds me of the. Well, I haven't actually played it, but the stuff they do in Fusion, where you talk to Adam, at all the a, a bunch of the navigation stations or whatever the hell. That's cool. But yeah, I I don't quite like this design. Oh God, for the for the Varia suit, mainly just because of the shoulders. Everything else is fine. I just don't like the the shoulders. Basically, have no detail on them except for that one light and the line. Like nothing that sticks out. Like the ones I got on. I got the way superior Varia suit. That's why I didn't bother making a new one for this. The game doesn't deserve it. Right, so no going that way. So down we go. God, it it didn't have to be quite this big, did it? It is it really is a lot of running. Hey <laughs> hey Pestis, yes, yes, the baby. It's been a while since we heard it, but we, we we actually got up to this count within the first 20 minutes, and then it hasn't been said for a while. But we are keeping a running count of the baby. It's going well. Uh, and like I, I keep trying to emphasize, the gameplay is alright. Like the gameplay is not bad at all so far. Some of the controls are, are a little jank, but that's a result of my setup rather than the actual game itself. And there's the authorization thing, which is extremely lame, but we're we're discovering more and more of it as we go on. Oh, I see. Hold on. It's this thing, isn't it? Grapple beam. So we can do that. Can we? What 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 button is it? Yes, grapple beam. I I understand. I'm I'm pressing every button. I don't know what what does this. Uh, hmm. Do we just not have the grapple beam? We should. Well, I mean, this seems like the only way to go, right? So, grapple beam. Is it? It's not that. Uh, you can't grapple yet. Okay, good. Because it's not been authorized. We do need to go that way. So I assume so, right? Because the other way was locked off, where that other thing was. Or maybe it's because we hadn't... Hold on, did it? Be... Did the other door in that save room become unlocked after we did the save? Because that would be dumb. But it would, it would give us another way to go. Yeah, it is interesting. It's... I think there are good things and bad things about the... The way they do the third person in this so far. Like, I think it's neat. That they're trying to have sort of a fusion of um Oh Jesus Christ, I couldn't I couldn't do anything to it. I had to get bored. Forced boring. But um but yeah, I think it I think it's cool the way they do kind of pseudo 2.5D and some actual 3D spaces. I think it it looks cool, it controls fine. I think some of the rooms are just too big. I think just because of the way they've done it. But I think it has potential, and I, I have some respect for them trying something new with the with it, while still kind of stick, sticking to regular Metroid. It still feels somewhat like Metroid. So it's not like taking a complete uh, drastic departure away from the style of the... Yeah, it did. God damn it. I don't trust these things at all. No, these are these are enemies. I don't trust you at all, game. Yeah. You can't trick me. Oh, it's those things. We saw those in um, in Samus Returns. At least something like them. They would like they would ground pound me. I remember. Yeah. 
They have a lot of returning enemies, I've noticed. Or at least a few. Like these and those ones that hang on the ceilings. Those are, those are enemies we've seen before. Yeah, I know, I know these are traps. You, you can't fool me. It, it lit, there we go, okay. Can't lock onto them until they become actual active entities. Oh god, we're sliding. Oh god, it's a Tomb Raider game. Oh god. Checks out. I wonder when Samus is going to get, like, brutally wounded in a cutscene death. I can't jump on these, can I? They're, like, too small. Yeah, no. That was not a full charge. And I can I can do the, the whatever the hell they call it, the sense dodge thing on melee attacks too. I need to remember that. And they're actually... Oh shit, what? Oh, uh? Oh, 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 oh. Mothball boss. Boss? Quite, or, is, or is it just an enemy? Because they... They do keep introducing enemies as if they were bosses, which is kind of cool. Oh, lethal strike. Get him. Get his ass. Look at that. She's doing, like, judo moves on him. That's cool. That's a cool thing they do. Because most of the large enemies have, oh god, have those states where you can knock them down and do an, a unique animation on them. That's cool. Like, yeah, we gotta see it again, because it's cool. Oh, fuck. He, he bopped me. And he's like, he's just an armadillo, basically. This is an armadillo enemy. Yeah, I could, I could watch those cuts, uh, little, not really cutscene, animations several times over. They're pretty good. But yeah, as I was saying, there, there is actually reason to go through and clear rooms, because it reveals where hidden items are when you do. Which is cool. I appreciate that. It's a good um, middle ground between just showing you where things are uh, and the the scanner type thing. Hello, yes. Oh, I can morph ball into there. This this perfectly shaped hole in the glass. I could have dodged that. I know we can get upgrades that make the charge beam uh, charge faster. And I'll actually appreciate that because the charge beam seems pretty good in this. Hello? Item? Oh, it's up there! And it's a missile. Okay. That looks like a pipe that leads into either the left or the right. Is there anything that we can actually do to get towards that here? Or is it just a, a little optional bit? Ah, that, I assume that's the vent. Or... No, that's the vent. But I... Oh! Oh, we can do that! Okay, cool. Yeah, because we do have ledge grabs, so that makes sense. Um, this door was open, right? But yeah, there's there's more we can do here in this vent. I'll go explore this. Why not? And it just led me into the next room, I think. Oh, well, okay. Where are we going? I want to go the wrong way. Hello? Is there, is there anything in here? Is this going to be an objective room later? This, this feels like it's going to have something in it. It feels like there should be a Metroid in there. In that tank, right? Because they always do that. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything else in here yet. It'll happen later, I guess. Are these doors interactable? Can I miss all these? No, okay. Breeding room? Oh no. Oh no. We we really are gonna fix that baby craziness, aren't we? Uh-oh. I'm worried. I should I shouldn't be in here. I'm gonna start to get ideas. <laughs> no. Samus, quick! Get out of the breeding room. <laughs> oh no. What's gonna be in here? Oh no. I've I've read stories that start this way. No. Oh no, a dead guy. Is that this one's 
like burnt instead of turned green. Like something had been raised in it. And in one corner I don't call him that. I'm sure he worked hard. Corpse. This victim hadn't sustained the same injuries. The dead I'd seen had been torn apart mm -hmm. by something large. This one had been attacked by a different multiple type. types of creatures. Oh no. And as I studied the violence this creature had wrought, I felt something in the air. The presence. Oh, I wonder who it could be. Hmm. Well, I'm sure it's probably nothing. We're in the we're in the the walkie mode again. Is it, is it a is it a look around thing or are we just are we just going? Okay, it seems to be nothing. All right, I am leaving to a place with better controls. Let me out of the breeding room. Ooh. And now it's locked, so we definitely can't go back in. So that was presumably the right thing to do? Question mark. So where now? Ah, through that way, I guess. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay. Ah, so we wouldn't have been able to go through this way anyway. Oh, that's a super missile door. Okay. Right. So, wait, then how do we get out? Because we, we drop down into here. Uh, is it something in here? We can't open that door again. Uh. No, not there. Let's see. Hmm, 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 hmm. Mysterious. Nothing down here, is there? No. Maybe something I didn't notice in here, maybe? I don't see anything, though. Hmm. Oh, wait, there's a thing in there now. How did you get in there? Hey, you weren't there a minute ago. Yeah, get blown up, you living creature. Hey, babe, we got to go down here. Okay, sick. Ah, and this is the other part of that uh, vent I saw. Okay, cool. All right, sweet. I, I, <laughs> you see what I just did there? I I shot open the tried to shoot open the door, but no, we don't do that here. This one's still locked. I see that rustling. Huh? Who's rustling? Hmm? Oh, God damn it! Why'd you make me do it? Oh, look at this cute little thing. Aw. I'm sure this won't turn into anything awful. Good thing that Ridley's dead, eh? Now we just have to deal with sweet little innocent creatures like this. It is cute. Little bird. Oh, good thing that opened the door. Why didn't you unlock that before? Your next destination is a little further ahead. Uh, whatever. Whatever, Adam. Yeah, that that won't turn into anything. Oh, he's, he's back. Hello. The baby. The new baby. New and improved baby. Look at it. Look at it's cute. What you're what you're that all scared for? It's just a baby. We know how Samus feels about babies. See, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's fine. Why would you be scared of a cute little thing like that? Honestly. You guys. Don't get it with you sometimes. Uh, oh, the controls. Uh, I just want to shoot, shoot that, shoot that. No more bugs. Hmm? Ah. Oh, the, we've just got invisible walls now. That's sick. Where's the other bug spawner? Ah. Oh, god damn it. Let me lock on. Oh, god. You don't know how awkward this is to control this first person mode. It's bearable, but it's awkward. What? It, is, wait, wait, is this just a wall? Is this a hologram? Hmm? I see that. 
can't morph ball into there, but I could, I could maybe morph ball up there. But we still can't get that high. Particular tunnel light jungle give me nostalgia for Evolve. Yes, I remember Evolve. Um, I think I like downloaded it, but never played it. And then uh, some point after that, it got cancelled. <laughs> Which is, I don't know, I don't know if I'd call it a shame. I see that missile up there, but it's a fair idea. And, you know, a lot of um, asymmetrical games like that have seen success. You know, like uh, Dead by Daylight and stuff. I don't really know why it failed, actually. Oh, you can grab the... Oh, yeah, of course. We just, yeah, we just established I can do that. Oh, God, I'm so forgetful. See? If I didn't have you guys, I would have been stuck here for ages. I'm so forgetful. Oh. Oh, it was a hologram. That's neat. Cool. Okay. I have no more complaints about invisible walls. The game was completely justified. I'm going to go look back and look at that missile. Is that somehow accessible now? It is. Ah, because it was, it was locked off by a, a hologram somehow. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I know what a missile tank does, game. Yeah, more of these guys. Oh no, what am I going to do? A bunch of spiky bugs. Hey, hey. Don't you even try and jump out at me. Nah. Unacceptable. Don't even think about it. Oh god, the, oh, the, 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 the hand stuff I'm having to do. To do all those controls. Oh, that killed them all. Ah. Gross, but cool. Effective. Should just have an arm cannon that fires that stuff. Oh, this is neat. You can see the, like, the control panel. Oh. Oh. Okay, I could have scanned that, o that other one, I guess. For more information. But I didn't. Oh, no, it's a game with, uh, a, a game with first person and scanning again. I'm, I'm falling back into the prime hole. Hey, do you have enemies come out from behind the waterfall? I will go and check it out. That's that's reasonably good signposting. One thing you can expect a player to generally do is to follow the trail of enemies. So if you want to lead a player around, just, you know, have enemies come out of somewhere. And in that case, they did it, like, from a secret area. Cool, though. Good. Good signposting. What in God's name are you? Oh. You're bulletproof, for one. It's like uh, it's like Jurassic Park with the Triceratops that's uh, sick. And they, uh, there's the giant dung pile. And yeah, it's a, a nice looking area. Again, we haven't seen much like this in a Metroid game. You'll piss it off in a sec. Oh, of course. Oh god, that's rather frightening looking. That's not a, a, a sweet Triceratops at all. Oh god, also I'm dying. Right, let's hop down here and see if I can do that healing thing again. Okay. I can only do it when I'm low. But it gives me a full E tank. Okay. Seems a little busted, but it takes a while to charge so I assume you're risking death by doing it. God, please let me jump on you. Oh my god. It's a cat, dog, crocodile thing. And it's got like a, a pseudo Metroid jelly pouch thing. Which is curious. Right now I need to go back up there to fight the thing. Right, where are you, pal? Oh god, the control. <laughs> Stop doing that. Yeah, maybe more Metroid experimentation. We'll see. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Shit. Shitting shit. Fucking hell. I guess I can't jump on it, apparently. Ooh. That is rather, rather fearsome looking. Um, the way this looks, it kind of reminds me of a... Oh, a, a, a quite... Oh, God. And I'm not... I'm getting bored again. I'm going to die. Holy shit. Right, jump down. Reminds me of a relatively obscure game called, um... 
I think it's Michigan Report from Hell. It's a weird first person game. Um, and there's hell, hell creatures that, uh, with mouths that look like that. Yeah, this is, that's a terrifying enemy. Maybe I'll play that sometime. It looks it looks very strange, but um, very creepy and gross too, which I uh, qualities that I like a lot. There we go. Just shoot the weak point, Lamau. Jesus, yeah, cool enemy design. Gotta say. That creature just remind me of one of Ven Venom's attacks in one of those GBA Spider-Man games. Hey, I saw your shadows. Don't think you can hide from me. They have Michigan instead of Baltimore. It's all weird. Yeah, it is. Hi, by the way, Edinburgh. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what uh, they probably just chose it randomly because I'm pretty sure it's a Japanese game. It has that kind of uh, weird stilted voice acting. But it, it'd be interesting to play because it has some. Really, really gross stuff. Maybe all of Earth is hell. Maybe that's the lesson we should uh, take away. Or maybe just all of America. I don't know. So, some of here could be considered hell too. And yeah, I, I'm enjoying the the way they're hiding most of the secrets so far. They're not uh, they're not just gimmies. You know, you actually have to look. It's cool that they basically tell you where they are. Um, when you clear clear the enemies out, though, encourages you to stick around even for these rooms with just basic enemies in them. Thank you. And more map. Yes, that loops back around. I think we might be able to open that because it kind of looks like a missileable door. That's not the same the same as the regular missile doors or the super missile doors, rather. Yes, normal missile. Oh, it turns it into a morph ball hole. Cool. I hear noise. It's good we have the, the little red indicators on the map too. That I, I'm fairly sure tell you... Holy mother of God. That uh, tell you when there's an enemy in the room with you. Holy shit, that's an enemy. Oh God. I, I think I might be safe, but... I definitely can't hit it. And again, it's got a Metroid sack. Weird. Look at the stuff it's shooting out too. Yeah, we can't hit it, but it's in here and it's it's hostile. Wild. Oh yeah, the giraffe enemy from Boomerang X. Yeah, kind of. Has a, a weak spot in a different place, but otherwise, yeah, very similar. And another bathroom. Ooh, hello. Are these the interactable doors? I see the door's kind of a jar. Ah! Oh, did you hear that, like, stock door opening sound? That was weird. I'm not used to hearing a sound like that in a Metroid game. Axel charge! Oh! Yes! That that increases the charge beam uh, charge rate. That's fantastic. Now we know what those are. Again, now we know the bathrooms are worth checking, too. And we've been here, haven't we? Oh, wait, no. No. Uh, that, that's the way we came. No, that, yeah, okay. We haven't got all this way yet. Still rooms to clear. That's a little bit faster. Not significant, but we'll get more. Still not enough to justify it on enemies like this. Ooh, hold on. Ah, ooh. That, this feels good. Oh, God, never mind. I mean, it doesn't feel super finicky. Just got to keep holding the stick in the direction you're aiming in. But otherwise... Oh, well, the direction... Well, in a direction, I don't know. That's going to be too low. We have to not hop up to be able to do that. Oh, fuck. And they actually... They use the um, the backpack... Not back, quite backpack, but the rear thrusters for the, the jump animation, too. I only just noticed that. I assume that's true for the uh, the wall jump as well. Not the wall jump, the uh, the kick jump thing. When you're not grabbing on ledges. Oh fuck! Right, so we do we hold the stick towards the wall to jump upwards. It's better be worth it. Is there even anything here? Do I have to shoot that? Oh, we can do first person here. 
It's cool that the scan, the scanning basically tells you what to use against it. That's nice. So it doesn't have to be color coded like usual. Uh oh. Ah. Oh fuck! It's you again. Well, another one of you. Again, they they hype up these uh mi like mid range enemies so much. Right, you're gonna get an elevator dropped on you. I'm sorry. Oh. Um. I I. I should have seen that coming, really. Alright, continue. Now, where's that going to put me? First death. Okay, so we do get checkpoints. That's nice of them. We did. We got the charge, didn't we? Did we? Uh, Yeah, we got it. Yeah, fucking rip. Jesus, that's... That's savage, but yeah. Punishing, punishing me for not thinking. I appreciate that. That doesn't feel cheap or anything. Yeah, it's cool. And cool they have... It's it's kind of like a set piece, but more minor. And like, this isn't even the, the critical path. It's just a thing that I'm choosing to do. Or maybe it'll loop me around, but I have no idea. Oh, God's sake. So I, yeah, I can let go while holding. That makes firing easier. But yeah, I need to stand in one of those alcoves to not get killed. Okay, now we do this without dying. Check it out. If the controls will behave. Hmm. Because, like, obviously you should be able to figure that out. And I did think about standing in the alcove, but I just, uh, didn't. Because I'm stupid. Right, now we do it. From here. Even though I could just kill this enemy. But I could do it in a, a more stylish way. Like so. I could cause him... Uh, a more grievous and painful death instead. So obviously I will do that. Samus Aran, hater of all life forms that aren't Metroids. Oh wait. Did that just ping me for a, a secret hidden in here or? Yeah, there is something. Yeah, they're not the baby and the baby's dead now. So she just hates everything in this world. This rotten world. Ah, there we go. It's another missile. Fantastic. I shouldn't complain. The missiles are fine in this so far. Also, how's the, the game been going gameplay-wise anyway? It's good. Gameplay-wise, this is absolutely fine. If they... Uh, it's... I think it's a shame that the story overshadows this so much. Uh, I mean, I have, I have my problems because I'm... I'm playing this with a DualShock 4 instead of a Wiimote, so I've got a kind of a weird controller setup. But gameplay-wise, this is completely fine so far. I've been having a good time, even, gameplay-wise. Missile? Yeah. I'm, I, I'm pretty... I'm, yeah, I'm not on track. This is just looping me back around to here, where I fought the terrifying thing. But yeah, it's good. It's a shame... It... it if they just had a different story, if they had no story, I think this game would have been well received. Genuinely. Oh. Oh, okay. It's just a few. So is this even going to get me anything or am I just backtracking? Oh, hello. Who goes there? That, that definitely looks like the way back out into where I was. Right? Yeah. So let's not go out there yet. I was told the gameplay was bad too, but that was a while ago. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we'll get more into it. Um, I Oh, fuck. I definitely don't like the uh, first-person aiming. Maybe that would be better with a Wiimote. But otherwise, I think it's completely fine. Serviceable. Um, it's a departure from what other games have done. But I don't think that's a bad thing. Not the way they've done it anyway. They have, like, cool, really cool combat mechanics, like, similar to the the parry in um, in Samus Returns. We have a timed dodge, which gives us a better chop, well, which gives us a near instant charge if we execute it. And we, ha we can jump on certain enemies to get, like, a big damage shot on them. 
and if an enemy gets downed, then we get an opportunity to do a cool animation and a shitload of damage on them that basically kills them. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. I like it. I see that there. I do. Ah, this is all blow up. Well, you know I've got to. It's my duty to clean up. Game audio might be delayed by a few seconds, by the way. Really? Uh... Huh. That's weird. I've, uh, I've never had that happen before. That's, that is very weird. Um, I don't know if there's any way I can fix that, because I haven't, I haven't really fucked around with audio stuff much before. Um, hmm. Yeah, I would like, I would like that not to be the case, but I don't know if there's any way I can fix that. I mean, I'm sure there is, but I also do not know how to. I'm just looking through some options right now. Play by a few seconds, too. Mm. Ooh, sync offset. That might do it. Um, so would you say it is a few a few seconds? Because uh, it's, it's asking me to set the offset in, like, milliseconds. So, um, hmm. Let's see. Let me try and tweak this. So, if it's a few seconds, let's say like three seconds, so we would want three thousand milliseconds? Or would that sink it in the wrong direction? I don't know. Maybe one second. Okay, I'll put it to one second. And see if that works. Is that... Hold on, let me try firing. Um, how's that? Is that more delayed or less delayed? Because I don't know if I'm, I'm fixing... If I'm putting it in the right direction or the wrong direction with the offset. Because it could go either way. Seems more delayed. Okay. So, I assume that I need to make it a negative. Okay. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. So, if we make that minus... Oh, wait, no, I can't make it minus. Hold on. How do I... How do I make it... Yeah, I can't... Oh, no, I can reduce it. Okay. Sick. Okay, just... Oh, it won't let me go further back than 100 milliseconds. I don't think. Um, okay, how's this? I wasn't able to change it much, but this should be more in the right direction. I don't know if it's changed enough to much closer. Okay, good. Okay, well, let me just see if I can change it anymore. It wasn't letting me there. No, I can't. I can. It's just being weird. So let me try 200. I'm just, I'm just going to keep changing it and you let me know. All right, how's that? That's 200 milliseconds. Plus the action still sync up with the commentary, so it's only the audio that's behind a bit. Yeah, yeah. It's not it's not a huge deal, but I'd like to be able to fix it if I can. I, I try not to be scuffed. I know that's the meme, like, ah, VTuber scuff, but I, I like it to be uh, as watchable an experience as possible to compensate for my, you know, terribleness as a streamer. But I don't know. That, that, that's probably better. Let me know if it's still fucked at all. Yeah, humble beginnings, humble beginnings. I'll try and, I'll see, I'll see if I can watch this back. Cause I, I used to do a test audio recording or video recording before every stream just to make sure, but it's, it, it felt like it wasn't needed past a point, but maybe I should... I should probably do it for new games, at least. Or at least every so often, so I can make sure it's working. Also, I have no idea where we're going. I've gotten, I've gotten completely sidetracked with this. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, hello. There's a snake. There's a snake in my game. What the fuck? Is it just gone? Okay, it left. D I I'll, I'll take I'll take decent. Thank you. Decent decent means a lot. Oh God, these damn plants. Oh God, they're moving now. Jesus, snakes on my 
sick of these motherfucking snakes on my motherfucking battle station. Hey. Oh yeah, I can yeah, I can parry everything or dodge everything. Need to remember that. It's throw by Thursday, alright. They aren't in the trees. They are the trees. Oh, they're walking around. These plants are walking around. Oh god. There's it's four on legs. Oh I've got I've gotta actively go into morph ball. I can't just mash X. That's good. That's good actually, yeah. And they've got little beak like plant beaks. I was able to just see it for a second there. That's nice. Neat little design. God, why is the 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 control to go into first person is so finicky sometimes. Like it just doesn't respond. Is there something back there? I heard a noise. That the radar isn't flashing anymore. Hmm. Long car door. I get the feeling we're going to. Oh no. It's a dead. It's a dead end. Uh oh. I don't like this. Am I going to get snaked again? Or is this just not something I'm supposed to do yet? I assume that's it. Okay. Alright, sick. I just, so I just got snaked for nothing in the first place. Oh, aim at the dead end. Oh, right, aim at the dead end. Yeah, that's how they, you know, usually have you. Well, tell you how to progress past something. It might just be missileable. I should have checked. I was just assuming it was going to be... Like, they have you walk all the way down here, and then it's a dead end... And then you turn around, and then they have you fight the snake again. Ah, okay. Right, thank you very much. There we go. So I'm not, I'm maybe not getting snaked. Who knows? Maybe I'm speaking too soon. Hello. Is that bummer? What is that? It looks like a, a hole we've fallen into before. But maybe that'll come up later. Subterranean control room. I guess it is subterranean. I was going to say, how can we be subterranean in space? But no, we do have... We do actually have terrain in the station, so that's sensible. Oh! Yo! The boys are back in town. It's been six, it's been six years since you played this. Wow. Yeah! Get lethal shotted! That is so sick. Like, she gets, gets the neck in a hold. I love that she's basically doing judo moves on him. I wish you'd do that to me. I mean, uh, uh, it is so cool, though. Look at that! I wish I were that lizard. And that's a super missile door. We can't do that. And a save room. Where the fuck are we? We've gone completely off track. We were probably going to have to come back here later. I mean, at least I assume so. I assume it's, it's like, we're going to go up there, and that's going to be a dead end, and then we're going to come back down this way. Whatever, we're uh, we're going now. I mean, they're giving me cutscenes and stuff. Hello. Oh god. Ow. Fuck it. All right, you're gonna you get you take missiles. Uh, fuck. I can't lock on. Oh. Uh. Hey, crispy. We uh we uh we are having a time. This game, it's it's weird. It's it's okay. It's not the worst. Not the worst game I've ever played. Gameplay's fine so far. Gameplay wise, this is a completely passable game. Story-wise, though, it's awful. I assume we're not jumping on these, because... There we go. Missile while it's open. Instead of just uh, regular shots while it's open. I just don't charge at me, though. Oh, God. They have me stun locked there. Don't like that. Fuck. I, I need to get the shot in. Please. Oh, the camera. No. Fuck. Alright. Go again. Go again. Do the thing. Yeah, yeah. You switch between first and third in this. You can only use missiles in uh, first person. And the controls are kind of jank. Oh, god damn it. The regular missiles don't work on him like that. Come on. Yeah, it is, it is, it is strange. It feels weird to do. 
I say that's the one thing I'd remove. Fuck. Fuck the camera. There we go. Oh, no, there's more. There we go. Like, it feels weird to get into, and because of my control setup, sometimes I get, like, flung all over the place. What the hell is this? Rainbow orb? Nanny? What? Diffusion beam? What? Charge beams will scatter after impact. What the hell? That's new. Oh god, no, 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 it's not 1 HP. I still have a full E tank. It, it's, it's 100 HP. Oh, that's good. This is a good power-up. Hey. I quite like this. Just need more of those charge speed upgrades, and this will be perfect. This was way worth doing. Hell yeah. Yeah, just fix it with a regular lock-on. That would be fine. I don't, I don't think there's any saving this game, because the story is, you know, too deeply ingrained in everything. Which is really a shame, because this gameplay is absolutely fine. If this had been the last Metroid game we got, and um, it had a, a, fe a... Even if it just had a forgettable story, but good, like, good this gameplay, I think people wouldn't have been nearly as sore about the Metroid franchise over the past, like, decade. Really is a shame. Good thing there's a save station right here. But that's a, that's a sick upgrade. I need to see how it works more, because it was basically instantly blasting every enemy in the room. But for smaller enemies, that's going to be fantastic. Like, that makes using the charge beam basically all the time. Oh, God, the snake again. More than one. It's the, it's a Hydra. Oh, no. Fuck. The, uh, fuck. I can at least dodge stuff relatively easily. It's just the goddamn aiming. Hey, get missled. Can I get in there with? Oh fuck, he's got me. Oh, why? Why does everything want to bore me though? I don't like that. Oh, lethal strike, lethal strike. Let's go, let's go. You'll appreciate the last boss, that I guarantee. Oh boy. I mean, I know of one of the bosses. Wait, can I just charge beam these guys? Nobody said it had to be missiles, right? Maybe it does. No, it does. Okay, fair enough. That was fairly easy to lock on. It's usually not that kind. Yeah, and now we do a lethal strike. I wish there was some kind of, like, more of an indication that you could use a lethal strike so they didn't have to have that uh, context thing pop up every time. Because lethal strike is really cool. It's a good, like, a good mechanic that I like. Okay, so that now that's opened up. Oh, is it a launcher? Or do we put a bomb in here? Ah, yeah, it is a launcher. Holy shit, this is cool. Yo! And it, it sends me a million miles away. Holy... Oh, God. Oh, fuck. This is not where I want to be. Not the situation I want to be in. Ah, oh, we don't need missiles for this guy. Jesus Christ, look at that. Mm. I should I should play Michigan Report from Hell. I feel like I would I would vibe with the horror in that game. I love that kind of horror. It reminds me of uh, the thing a little bit. And that's my favorite movie of all time. What is the Baby Nine about? That's our uh, the Baby Counter. Every time the baby is uttered in this game, we iterate that counter by one. And so, it, like all nine of those were in the first twenty minutes of the game. And it hasn't been it hasn't come up since. Oh god! Huh. Gonna get vored again. Like that is a that is a mouth made for voring, right? Someone at Team Ninja has a, a vore fetish, I'm sure. Jesus. Because half the enemies we've seen so far so far have giant mouths capable of performing vore on Samus. I don't like that one bit. It's weird. It's cool that you have to power bomb, well, not power bomb, just bomb out of some of them. The way you escape from those um, Venus flytrap things is pretty cool, actually. It's not just, you know, press the shoot button. No, you have to actively morph ball and then actively bomb. That's cool. But someone at, someone at Team Ninja had something going on, for sure. 
Oh, let's test this again. Very good. Very good. It, it wasn't worth using the charge on lesser enemies before, but now it totally is. Even if it misses, it, it still works. That's fantastic. What a good upgrade. And it's an, ori an original upgrade, too. It's completely original to this game. Vor game I played is called Monster Kill Quest. Yes. I'm aware of Monster Kill Quest. I haven't I haven't played it, but I've I've definitely heard of it before. Hey, went up full heal. And this is why we branched off before. Yeah, that was my I, I decided to explore and I was rewarded uh, for it. I appreciate that. I mean, it's it's needless to say, you know, what with this being a Metroid game, but it's, you know, with the reputation it has, I need to give it all the, the wins it can get. And it does deserve some. In my opinion, at least. I still don't think it's redeemed because of the story, but I think it's 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 got a good showing so far. Secret? It's up there. That's a super missile thing, right? Yeah, can't do that. Uh, so where the hell are we going? Do, I, do we have to go from the other side? Oh, because we opened up that door, didn't we? That was probably what that switch was in the room where we got the diffusion beam. That's probably what that was. I dare say having a mouth all in place is easier to animate than jointed arms struggling. Yeah, you're probably right. Because... Basically, the animation for being held in the mouth is just... Oh, God, I have to go around. But yeah, the animation for being held in the mouth is just the mouth being closed and maybe wriggling around a bit. But that is easier, but they... I, I, I don't know if it is that, because they haven't skimped on the animations as far as I can tell. Because they, they have that uh, chameleon enemy. He's really well animated. And all the lethal strike animations are really good. It feels weird that they'd... Uh, skimp out on certain enemies in that way. It's it's plausible, I guess. I I'm still suspicious though. I think it might just be a ball thing. You see you see that a lot, or at least you saw that a lot back in the day in like kids' cartoons. You would see animators and writers inserting their fetish. You don't really see, I I don't. I mean, you probably do see that in games. It's just it's more mundane stuff like you know sexy outfits and power armor, which. I can I can understand, but this feels like a specifically like a Vore thing. When did this come out? I think it was like uh, late two thousands, I think, because it was on the Wii. On oh, the Nintendo Direct in seven minutes, I I probably I'm, I'm probably not going to stop to watch it, uh, but do feel feel free to let me know if something cool happens because I want to know. Two thousand and seven, two thousand and eight. Yeah, yeah, that seems about right. A shame there isn't an icon for these um, super missile doors, but so be it. Now we can use this shortcut we didn't use before, or the way out of here that we didn't use before. Oh, and that's enabled now too, so we can go back there. <laughs> oh wait, I think I missed it. I did. Somehow I didn't see it at all. Let me out. Oh, God. It's a little bit finicky. Ah, that's going to be a grapple thing for later, but I'm not authorized to use my grapple beam. It's like... Unless the grapple beam is something she gets. Because, like, it doesn't say anything about authorization. It just says, hey, grapple beam. Blandly shiny and lacking textures. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I was saying about the, the power suit. I This is probably my least... One of my least favorite iterations of the power suit. Because it is kind of bland and lacking in detail. Uh, and it does have that kind of mid-2000s shininess to it, doesn't it? But I, I'm not... I, I'm, I don't have massive complaints about the visuals so far. I think it's been mostly okay. If a little uninspired, for sure. But not not bad. Got it on your second monitor. I'll post what, what pickles my sanity. Good. Thank you. Thank you. And do let me know if we get any Bayonetta 3 news. Or Prime 4. Obviously, you, I know you'll tell me if I get Prime 4 news, but I also want to know if we if we ever hear anything about Bayonetta 3. Who knows? That game might be cancelled at this point. 
I know I know there was some suspicious stuff from the from Bayonetta's voice actor that was kind of frightening. Like she said something on Twitter along the lines of, "Oh, you may never hear me as this as this character again." Like she didn't say those words, but she implied that, and that was that was frightening. I didn't like that. So hopefully that game's not cancelled or fucked up. I don't I don't have much faith in Platinum anymore. Which is fucked up, but they haven't done anything good in a very long time. And everything else they've been, you know, working on has been in development hell for years, but still gotta hold out hope, I guess. Hello, door, thank you. Right, so wait, why am I here? Why did I go back this way? For God's sake. Uh oh, I just went in a circle. We can't we can't go back, can we? Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Last good thing I remember was Metal Gear Rise. Yeah, it's so fucked up, because they were amazing back then. Like they put, they've put out good games since then. Like Transformers Devastation was good, but I never got to play it, and you can't even buy it anymore. But that was good. Like they were, they were in a situation where they either put out like stellar games, like Metal Gear Rising and Near Automata, or just mediocre games, like that TMNT game. Or the, I think they, yeah, they did a Legend of Kara game that nobody played. Uh, and now it's weird. Now they just make, ge now they just announce games, basically. Uh, and they don't make games anymore. I'm sorry I'm, I'm going back this way again. I just completely blanked out while I was talking about bullshit. What, where, where the hell are we going now? It's... It, yeah, it's that way that's open. So we have to backtrack from the big open room. But yeah, it's a shame, because they announced that thing for Square Enix that looks terrible. Um, and Bayonetta 3, the one thing people actually want, is in has been in development hell for years now. And it's it's like they don't do... It's not even that they don't do anything good anymore. They just don't do anything anymore, which sucks. Because I really like... I, I love Metal Gear Rising. It's basically what got me in, into character action games. Because I had played... Uh, um, I had played Devil May Cry 4 briefly um, before on the 360. But I never really got into it. So I wouldn't say that was really my entry point into character action. But then Metal Gear Rising came out. And I, I got completely hooked on that. I loved it. Um... That's an amazing game. Right, now I'm going to go the correct way. I'm going to go backwards. Backtracking. Yeah, it's a fantastic game. It It is a shame. I hope they recover. But that um, not... Um, that not near Automata thing they're making for Square Enix looks awful. I mean, if you just look at the gameplay, I don't know what they they're thinking with it, but the way they do the... It's got like a whole, it's got a filter over it that is just catastrophically ugly. Not even just in a an artistic choice way, it's just ugly. It's, it looks bad, it's hard to look at even. Oh right, we need to go around that way? What? What is that again? How do we get there? Or, no, 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 that was the, that was the shortcut we took. Wait, we can't, we can't go back that way. Because this is a slope. We can't, we can't do slopes, apparently. Want to get Burnout 3 Takedown Remastered. Oh, yeah. That would be so, that would be so good. That pipe you morph ball through goes the whole way. Well, yeah, I know it goes there. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to get back to here. Because I thought I had opened this door. Because we can't go that way, I don't think, where the, the flashing blue thing is. Because that's just a super missile thing. Unless there's something I missed in that room. And then there might be. Because when we, when we went back there, when we got, went there and got the diffusion beam, we, we interacted with a terminal that opened a door somewhere. And I, I don't know where it is. I assumed it was this door, but it might not be. I don't actually know. Yeah, it seems like we can't go back that way. Uh, hmm. Unless we just do uh, go forward from there, in which case I'm going to have to go all the way back there again. Ominous Castle. Oh boy. Castlevania? Castlevania? Maybe? I've been having Castlevania thoughts recently. Oh, Monster Hunter stuff. Cool. Oh yeah, I do want to know about Monster Hunter stuff. 
I mean, they're probably not going to announce it, like, coming, uh, Rise coming to PC, but they'll probably show Monster Hunter stuff, right? I do like Monster Hunter. I'm just waiting for Rise to come to PC before I play it, probably. Hmm. Very edgy-looking dragon. I mean, that could still be Monster Hunter. It probably is. Might be, you know, Fatalis or something. robotic -y Raw. Hmm. That's interesting. Sunbreak. Ooh. So what, like a, a full-on expansion? Like, um, like Iceborne? Ooh, that's interesting. I'll, I'm probably going to watch all these after the stream, but do do keep the information coming. Massive expansion, nice. Okay, what about PC though? Bro, please, please announce a PC release. I mean, I have a Switch, but I'd rather I'd rather get it on PC if the option is available. Right, we can we can look over here without doing a massive backtrack again. I mean, there's that thing up there. Hmm. Clear everything out of here. Hmm. Oh wait. Ah, here we go. That was well hidden. Jesus. Okay. Oh. Cool. So now the now the environment is different, so we we can progress. That's still an invisible wall. What's the deal with this though? I see a crack in a wall. Is that missile? But we can't lock onto it. Hmm. Odd. Paid DLC. More stuff coming up. Mario Party question mark. Hmm. But yeah, I'd, I'd expect it to be paid if it's a a thing on the. You know, to the the scale of like Iceborn, if it's an actual expansion, yeah. Uh, hmm. What the hell do we want to do from here? Yeah, yeah. This this whole station has massive holodeck rooms in it, which is cool. I still don't know how it helps me though, because uh, everything's still locked. Like it doesn't open up that super missile thing, or maybe a, maybe a bomb, maybe a bomb. There we go. Okay, sick. Ooh. But yeah, we're on a Federation spaceship. Uh, a uh, station rather than a spaceship this time. So we get to see more... Just more different... More variety, I guess. And better technology and stuff. Which is neat. Ah, uh, you again. Oh, we don't have to miss all that. I mean, it's spider web, so that makes sense, I guess. No, oh god. Honestly, maybe that's just an easier way to kill them, because they're kind of hard to hit otherwise, and it takes a while to get a charge shot. On. See, he's already gone. Come on out. Hey. There we go. Card based RPG game. Oh, okay. Uh, you, you said card based, and my interest went away immediately. I, uh. Oh god. Let it be known that I do not like card-based games in any capacity. I find that very boring. I know I know people like it and, you know, all respect to them, but I can't get into that kind of thing. Lethal strike! Armadillo guy. That guy, I you, could, you couldn't see it with the camera there, but he was trapped between Samus' powerful thighs for a second there. Uh, I'd like to think it was a blissful death. Biological experiment floor. Oh no. I I've had enough of biological experiments for one lifetime. Thank you very much. Hey, new enemy. And same old enemy. There we go. I'm getting better at the aiming. I just need to aim myself the right way uh, before going into that mode. Oh, that one's got a tentacle. Oh. Not be aiming the right way, and then it'll basically have me in vaguely the right direction. I don't have to wrestle with the controls too much. Oh, this guy just didn't take hits. Okay. Ow! Motherfucker! What a bitch! Hmm. We've got to get past him somehow. Hmm, 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 hmm. Maybe I just couldn't get a lock on him. But it feels like they're, they're blocking him. 
specifically, like to prevent me from locking onto him. Oh no, I can lock onto him. I just couldn't aim right. There we go. It was just because that thing was in the way. Disco Elysium, the final cut. Uh, I think that's already on Steam, isn't it? I've I've uh, heard stuff about that. It does seem interesting, but I'll just get it on Steam if I if I want to get it. I'm not interested in Switch ports for the most part because uh, P PC is my ideal platform. So Switch ports, not not a big deal to me. Please let me down. How do I just drop down? Oh God, don't do that. Maybe yeah, just drop down like that. There we go. Easy missile tank. Thank you. Yes, game. I know. Weep, weep. This this is usually how I uh, get my information on these kind of. Um, like I I usually don't watch direct just because. Um, well, I, I I often don't watch like these whole uh, gaming event type things unless it's something big, uh, or or I expect there to be something I care about there, because generally I can just you know look at Twitter and get a general v feeling for what the announcements are. Zelda. Don't hey, don't Zed Zelda me. Is it is it fucking is it Breath of the Wild too? Because I am interested in that. And yeah, I generally just look at the uh, whatever trailers come out after the fact. Huh? What does it what does it want me to scan here? It it had me pointing this direction initially. It's not really indicating anything to me. I'm not locking onto anything yet. Can I can I just not do whatever this is, game? The Where's Waldo sequence? No, I can't run around. I'm. It's in this like when the uh, the visor turns like sepia tone like this. It wants me to scan something like at the start when we had to scan the Federation ship or like lock onto it. What the fuck? I'll oh, check the floor. Oh, there's there's bugs. Okay. Hmm. I thought it was these plants, because that was what it was pointing me at first, but... Okay, there's bugs. There's definitely bugs. This is bad. Final Fantasy cut? Actually? Really? That's, that's very interesting. Huh. Oh, it's... it's j uh, so, okay. Oh, whoop, we had it. Hold on. Oh, okay. Okay, I just got the controls wrong, I think. There we go. And cute creatures. So, but is it like Final Fa all the Final Fantasy protagonists? It's a shame we don't have Sephiroth on a motorcycle or, you know, Cloud in a, a, a cart, but... It's still interesting, though. Bugs. Yeah. Why did I have to scan that to, for, to cause this to happen, game? This isn't good. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. No, 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 don't do this. Hands off me, bugs. It's a good thing we have the spread shot, diffusion. That's fantastic for this. And just run around. Can I jump on him? Maybe the, maybe the ones on the ground. They seem a bit small for it, though. So I guess not. Smash News, kind of interested. If it's a, if it's a character I like. Um, because I, I've... I've played Smash like once, and I, then I never played it again. Um, like the, I have two characters that I want. One of them's basically deconfirmed because it's because it's Dante, and he got a me costume. And the other one is almost certainly not going to happen because it's Doom Slayer. Otherwise, otherwise I don't care. Because it, it's not really my kind of game. I'm not a fighting game guy either, unfortunately. It's a, a cool fight, though. Cool encounter. Oh, they've uh, they just announced the date of the announcement. Oh, more bugs. We can do a lethal strike on these guys, though, because I did accidentally do one. Okay, okay. They announced an announcement. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you, Nintendo. It's fine. It's not, again, yeah, it's not one I'm super bothered about. Oh, there we go. I got I got the shot out. That's what matters. Man, I could have... Hey, there we go. 
Wait, we just throw him. That's sick. New Kirby. Hey, nice. I haven't played many Kirbys, but I've heard very good uh, things about basically all of them. So that's good. I heard uh, Planet Robobot was really good. And that had like some at like proper innovations instead of just being, you know, Kirby game again. Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Cool. Hey. Don't get shot. I'm in danger now. I need to I need to stop to heal. Which is a, a difficult proposition in this situation. Seems to be based on the abandoned islands around Japan. Oh, cool. That's interesting. Holy shit. They they did like a cooler animation for it that time. Oh god my health. Right, really need to not die. Okay. Heal. Uh. No. Stop doing that. Heal, heal, heal. Oh, I just I just need to like put one shot on this damn plant thing. I need to clear these guys out. Okay. Island full of abandoned apartment complexes. Neat, neat. Also, I'm, I'm trying to do this boss fight while receiving Nintendo news. That's why I keep taking damage. Oh my god. Bro, please. Please take the bugs away. Like, I, I, I was not moving in, in the direction I was pulling the stick there. Whew. Oh, 2.5D. Cool. Oh god, there's more. Oh, queen bug. Gross. Spring 2022. You want to just stop playing the game? No, I can handle it. I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. I'm good. I'm good. I can handle it. Just give me the news as it comes in. Jesus, this is this is rough. Oh. Oh fuck. Okay. Heal, 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 heal. I see that one down there, but I think he's just stuck. All right. Get get the get the queen. Get the queen. Okay, can't get the queen. And the the dodge. The dodge, please. There we go. I'm, I'm gamer enough to handle handle chat, at least. They're under pressure. It's just I'm not going to perform at 100%. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Why can't I fire a missile right now? Come on. More Animal Crossing? Okay. Animal Crossing is alright. I got, I got the newest one. I played a, a bit of it, and it was fine. Announcing an announcement. God damn it. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. You can uh, spam as much as you like. Don't act, don't do actual spam, but uh, this is fine. Yeah, my, my missiles got arbitrarily locked, so the, the boss wouldn't take too much damage. That's not good. Hey! Oh god, those wings don't look great. When they're up close like that. Yeah, get, get, get all crusty, you weird bug. Oh no, not the spam. Monkey, no. Hey, it's the new baby. New and improved. Superior baby. He's just having a meal. How cute. Some creatures use the powers of others There's nothing wrong with that. That's just, that's just nature. What do you mean, disgusting? What do you mean? Leave him alone. He hasn't done anything wrong. That's just nature. You're going to begrudge a vulture for being a vulture? Hey, Mario Golf. Could this creature have been the source? I sure is hungry, though. I heard that new Mario Golf was pretty good. I just don't have anyone to play it with, so I didn't get it. Samus, head to the biosphere test okay. in your current sector. There should be some important information about this facility in that exam center. The other members are en route. Oh, we're going to meet the other human characters again. Great. Can't wait. Hey, I see that E-Tank, though. Okay. Hello, yes, I would like this E-Tank. Free E-Tank for beating the boss. Thank you. Oh, fuck. He webbed me. Oh, he slimed me. Knights of the Old Republic on the Switch. Hey, that's nice. I mean, again, I just I just play it on PC, but that's a good game. Wow, we just can't kill that guy. Unless we can do it with bombs. 
No. Okay. But yeah, it's a good game. I uh, I played I played some of Kotor one. I didn't end up beating it, but it's a good game. Um, I I have a, I have a weird relationship with Star Wars because I from a young age I thought I liked Star Wars, and then I realized wait no I I hate all of these movies. Energy part. Oh god, we got heart pieces. Oh, is it a, is it a remake, not a, just a re-release? Then I, I have less hope for it in that case. But, um... Yeah, it's, it's good. But yeah, I realized I don't like any of the Star Wars movies. Not even the new ones. Uh, especially not the new ones. But I've only watched... Uh, of the new ones, I've only watched... Um, I can't remember what it's called. The, the, the one about getting the Death Star plans. I fucking hated that one. Um, but yeah, I realized I only like Star Wars games. Well, I like Star Wars Battlefront and stuff like that, but none of the actual movies. And Dying Light 2. Um, Di yeah, Dying Light 2 is zombie stuff, but Di Dying Light 1 was really good. Because it's... It's it's the... It's... Um, not... not uh, what's it called? Uh, Dead Island or whatever, but with like better mechanics and like good parkour stuff. I, I liked the first one. I didn't beat it, but I played a fair bit of it. It's a, It's a decent game. No complaints about that. Although I think, um, yeah, I think 2 has been in development hell for a while. So we'll see how that goes. Kind of a question mark around that one. Coming to the Switch store. Also, there's some kind of tactical RPG. Okay. But again, Dying Light 2, it's it's it's, it's going to be on Steam. I, And it, it's a, it's not really, it's not a first person shooter, though you can get guns and it is in first person. But either way, I would n never buy that game on Switch because it's a first-person shooter. And, like, a game with, you know, graphical fidelity instead of art style as its main thing. So, no. I've heard, yeah, I've, I, I think I've heard something about a KOTOR remake. Oh, boy. I wish I had a gravity suit. I assume I'm not going to be able to get around, uh, get past whatever's down here. But yeah, I the Switch. Ba I I like the Switch. It's it's a fair console, but it's also n never going to be my first choice to play any game on, really. I doubt we can. Oh wait, can we can we grab that? Yes, it's just enough. Dread. Let's go. Okay, tell me how it goes. This this is the important one. And yes, I heard about America's Space Force thing. That was that was strange. Classic Emmy sequence, good. I'll wa we I'll probably watch this on stream at some point. As soon as it's on YouTube. The alien thingy, okay. Ooh, hold on. Can we drain the drain the fluids? I just I've I've already charged it halfway, I might as well just do regular shots. Oh god, these controls. Death sequence, touching the Brain Eye Robot thing. Gets the Mega Cannon. Uh, I think the Brain Eye Robot thing is Adam, actually. So relevant. Yes, Pestis, I know. Um, I'm not watching the direct, but Monkey is and is uh, filling me in as we go. I know, I know, Shady, I know. I know, I'm going to I'm gonna watch it when the trailer is, like, up. Speed booster, okay. When it's up on YouTube. Because I'm not, I'm not bothering watching the whole show. Because it's it, most of it so far has been stuff I don't care about. And I generally don't watch these kinds of shows live. I will watch that on stream, though. I'm very interested. And Chozo Warrior. Okay, cool. Sick. I actually didn't watch the trailer, the most recent trailer before this, because apparently it had kind of spoilery stuff in. But that sounds basically okay to watch. Yes, thank you. Thank you all for coming and letting me know. I'm glad I'm the first person you think of when it comes to Metroid. Oh, God damn it! Ah, uh, you fucker. I better reset. Okay, it did. Ah, okay. Uh, the trailer with a woman who says, Morph into a ball with the morph ball. Ah, you're Mr. Metroid Man. It's your brand now. Oh no. <laughs> What's going to happen when I run out of Metroid games? It's going to be the end of me. I'll just start playing Castlevania instead. <laughs> I'll play the entire Castlevania franchise. Don't worry about it. I have been thinking about doing that, and actually... <laughs> At least the Egovanias, because they seem really fucking good. Me and Samus in a picture. I, w I would like that very much. That would be sick. 
Maybe I should do that as a like a commemorative thing once I finish this. Just play NES Metroid and Soccer. Yeah, you're right. I still got to play AM2R. There's uh, Super Metroid Randomizer, uh, Original Metroid 2, NES Metroid. That we haven't played those. There's Hyper Metroid still. Uh, I think there was another ROM hack that I saw, but I can't remember the name of right now. So I'm, I'm not I'm not ruined yet. I may be a hack fraud, but my, my days are not yet numbered. There we go. Get me out of there. Metroid on the cube? Do you mean the uh you mean the GameCube ones? Like Prime? Prime and Prime 2? Because I have played those. Right on. Wait. There we go. You can do those in one shot. Oh, and that lifts the whole thing up. Okay. N64 games on the Switch store. Ooh, I'm interested in that, kind of. Is it like... Ju are they just doing re-releases? Or is it like the... Um, the thing they already have for the NES and SNES? I noticed... Uh, you noticed know, there's a Castlevania on the Android. Is that any good? I don't know, actually. I heard something about that. It's like a new Castlevania on the... Wait, no, that might be a different thing. I think there's a new Castlevania on on the on iOS or something. But I know about the Castlevanias there's Castlevanias getting re released on Android. I don't I don't actually know. Oh, it is a virtual console thing. Oh yeah, Symphony of the Night. Yes, Symphony of the Night is um one of the best. It's definitely the most well known of the um the Egovanias. Um, my my knowledge is still limited. Yeah, I've heard I've heard people say Aria of Sorrow is the best one. Only three, but fucking get that, get that, bro. Probably. I don't know if the Android release is any good, but I know that Symphony of the Night is like one of the best games ever made. Probably. Very very historically important for this um, this genre of the games that we have been playing. So yeah, definitely. I don't know. If, if that's if that's the way you want to play it, I don't know how the controls would be on Android. I don't know if we can do this yet. This seems like a very gravity suit area. Let's maybe leave. I don't know. I'll have another look around. I don't think I can hit that switch again. Can I? Get it sooner, Shan. All right, sick. Because I I was I have been thinking as another long term project is to play some of the Castlevania games. Maybe not all of them. Ah. Hold on, let's get down there. Can't really see that. Yeah, I definitely want to play Symphony of the Night and Aria and some of the others. Need to need to do my research on which of those to play. Ah, okay. That loads it. Mostly first party games for N64 games. I don't even know what there is, really, in terms of good N64 games. Hmm. Because a lot of a lot, of, I think a lot of the games people think of, like um, like DK sixty four and stuff like that, are are not great in retrospect. <laughs> yeah, they've been they've been not super great with the releases they put on the NES and SNES virtual consoles too. So that's not a great surprise to me. Oh, it's going up and down. Why? Where do we want to go now? Over here. Mayhaps. Well, does it going up and down benefit us? That's the way we came in. So. Hmm. Oh, I see. It's a wall jump. Majora's Mask. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Castlevania Bloodlines, Fantasy Star 4, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, and Sonic 2. Yeah. That's alright. That's not bad. I'll look into that. That's that's something we can do on stream because I got the capture card now. N64 and Genesis controller for the Switch. Okay, I'll I'll stick with my Pro controller. Oh, so holy shit! Look at this room. This is a big ass room. Maybe you can connect them to the PC. Well, maybe, but. Even then, like Pro Controller isn't my go-to for PC. I'm using a, I'm using a DualShock 4 right now. I mean, I'm playing this on my super legit Wii, but right now my console, uh, my controller of choice out of what I got is my DualShock 4. So I am I am very much looking forward to trying out the DualSense at some point, hopefully. Oh God, I didn't see the platform. 
Should buy a controller for your PC? Yeah, go for it. It's uh, it's good to have for certain games. Oh, morph ball. Oh god. Gave me a concussion. I probably gave him a concussion. Giant Oh god, I did it again. Giant metal ball ramming into you at that speed. It's uh, not not good for you, I assume. But yeah, I quite like dual shocks. I think it's a a matter of taste, probably. I mean, I don't think there's anything good about the new newer Xbox controllers. Like back in the day, the 360 controller was definitely better than the the PS3 controller, but I quite like the DualShock 4 now. Ario Sorrow on the Switch, Castlevania Advance co Collection. Oh shit. Well, I I guess we know how we're playing that then. Well, I I literally was looking at it and be like, "Ooh, how if if I were going to play this on stream, how would I do it?" So, I guess that's something we're doing. And hey, that's Konami doing something good. I can scarcely fucking believe it. By God. Even if it's just re-releases. Re you know, getting good games. Oh shit. Oh God. It's this thing. Getting good games on modern hardware is a win. No matter what. Even if it's not new. Holy shit. Uh oh. Accurate. I... Act Razor remake. I have not played that, but I, I assume that's a good thing. Maybe I'll play it. Who knows? I've noticed we get a bit of slow mo when we first lock on. That's nice. You grow with that game. Nice. That's always good to have. My god. My man is getting bullied. Oh! Oh, he flipped over. Okay. On the holodeck, then are the monsters not real? No, I think I think so. Like everything you see now is real. We just turn the holodeck off, so like there's still natural ground, because you know the animals need to actually be able to live in here. So there is some natural material, and the anim the the monsters are real. I assume they were being genetically you know um, made for whatever reason. Oh, hello, Rampage J. It's a world world building action platformer. Ah. Oh wait, I think I do I do I know that? Is that the game where you like a I might be thinking of something else here. Is it the game where you like a, a little angel guy and you're doing stuff with like a little society? I think I might have seen that before. I think I might have seen that played if that's it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I know that game. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Yeah, it seems it seems like this is a well they said um biological experiment before. So I assume these were all biological biologically created. And given that they've all got these weird sacks on them that are very reminiscent of Metroids, I can I can make some assumptions as to what they were doing. Deltarune Chapter 2 on the Switch. Um, that's great for the people that care. I haven't played any of those, not even uh, Undertale. I do have Undertale. Someone bought it for me and was like, you've got to play this. And I'm like, no, I do not care for what this is. That's my weird taste, though. This, this guy's pretty easy, it seems. I mean, I assume we're doing damage to him, because he's recoiling pretty severely from these shots. SMT5, that's good. Probably won't play it, because it's, again, I, not in my wheelhouse. I, another thing I don't like is turn-based combat. That's why, I, uh, that's why I keep going back to the Persona games and then being like, wait, no, I hate this gameplay, this sucks. There we go, we got him. But yeah, that's just me being a weirdo. That's a, an easy fight, but cool. It's a cool boss, like, visually, and what he does. Look at him. Kind of looks like Ridley. Hmm. This infusion involved this big federation company called Biologic Space Labs. Oh. I've heard the name, because I've, I've tested out um, Fusion just to get it working for streaming, and I did see that name. Mario Movie Confirmed. Oh, no. I don't like that. Maybe, maybe people are optimistic about that, but I don't think video game movies are any good. I don't think there's any reason to ever do that. And, uh, that that's that's some garbage, in my opinion. Hmm. Yes, we will get to that uh, Metroid trailer at some point. How are we getting out here? Chris Pratt as Mario. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, Chris Pratt, he's in... Um I, li I like Chris Pratt. He's a cool guy. Um, 
he was in uh, Parks and Rec, and then he then he worked out, and then he was in the Jurassic World movies, and he, I think he's the main character of the Lego movies. Charlie Day is Luigi. <laughs> what the fuck? That's that's interesting. <laughs> I'm I'm interested in Charlie Day as Luigi. What the fuck? Jack Black is Bowser. Oh god. Okay. It kind of seems like it's gonna be a. Uh, Jack Black's okay, but that kind of makes me feel like it's gonna be a, a trying too hard to be funny movie. Keegan Michael Key is Toad. Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong. Oh, what the fuck? I don't like that at all. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I've heard of the last story. It's like Final Fantasy on the Wii. It's graphics and interaction equipment are unreal. Recommend it before you get rid of the Wii. Huh. I'll, I'll, I haven't heard of it. I'll take a look. Is it animated? That's the only way a Mario movie could work. I agreed, yeah. Uh, fuck. I don't, I don't really like that at all. I feel like it's going to be like the Sonic movie where it gets... People are, you know, react to it sensibly, like, oh, this is terrible. And then people are nice to it for some reason. Because that Sonic movie seemed fucking awful. I didn't see it. Because fuck that. Live action. That's fucking horrid. That sounds terrible. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that at all. Jesus Christ. The only thing I'm moderately interested in there is Charlie Day as Luigi, but the rest the rest of that does not bode well. I do not like that. It was mediocre. Yeah, it, it seemed that way. Oh, hello. Can I lock onto that? It just tells me that it's... Oh, it just tells me it's a missile tank. Splatoon 3, not buying that for sure. I don't know, I might. I didn't buy any of the other Splatoons, but they seemed, they seemed cool. I was always interested in playing Splatoon and Splatoon 2. Um, but it was it was when I was past caring about the Wii U and the one and uh, I I never really was super interested in it uh, as far as two went. But it seems it seems cool. You love Splat two but hate the controls. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I never I never ended up playing either of them, but I was always interested. So maybe maybe three would be a, a time to get in. I don't know. Okay, we've got to do this. Okay. Do whatever this does. Which is... Ah, uh, it's one of those. Oh, we're going to shoot straight up into that elevator. That's cool. If they, will, if they release the soundtrack, you'll definitely buy that. Oh, yeah. It has, it has really good music from what I've heard. Which is still very little, but yeah. Hold on, was that something up there? No. Oh god, get grabbed. Yeah, these ground ones can just be lethal striked no matter what. That's great. I think they get thrown into other enemies for more damage. Hello. Oh, it's it's just you guys. These guys are just clowns, basically, so no problem. Just do this to them. I didn't want to get this one, but that's okay. Guess I'll guess I'll go for it. Oh unless 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 they're not gonna let me. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Maybe they're a bit less of clowns when they're together. Yeah, if you can just knock one down and then lethal strike it, then it is dead. God damn it, lethal strike! There we go. Get crushed between the thighs. The oh god! Oh! Oh my god! Okay, okay, okay. Getting a bit, getting a bit frisky with the grab there. I'm the only one allowed to do that. There we go, get popped. Took more damage than I'd like, but still. Ooh, hello. I assume that's a partially tank again. Or is it a full one? No, it's an energy part. Okay. What is that? That's why we got... Did you hear that? Did you just hear something whisper baby? Or was that just my imagination? Did you hear that? Because if that was real, I'm going to have to add it to the count. Right? Maybe I'm insane. Should we, should we? Did you guys hear that? Oh, I heard I had a whisper again, but it didn't sound like baby. I don't know. You you guys could go back and check. You heard it too. I guess. 
Yeah, I heard I heard the second whisper, but the first whisper I heard like partially and it sounded like baby. Stick around maybe. Hmm, that might be uh, I assume we have to get like a space jump or something and get from uh over there to get over here. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to increment. I I won't, but if anyone wants to take the time and go back and confirm it, then and if they, if you do manage to confirm it, then I will I will add it to the count, but otherwise I'll leave it as is as it's unconfirmed. Hmm. Yeah, we can't lock on. Can't blow it open either. Okay. What's that though? That's one of those shooting things. But we can't shoot that. Hmm. Platinum? Ooh. Bayonetta 3? Ooh. Is it finally happening? Oh, it doesn't look like Bayo 3. God damn it. It's one of those millions of other shitty games that they're working on that nobody wants. God damn it. That's a demon thing? Ooh. Does it look like one of the demons from Platinum? Oh, plasma rounds for Windows. Okay, cool. This is a big room. Does the room need to be this big? Does Bayo ha yeah, Bayo does have demons. It has them in spades. She, you know, she summons them with her hair and stuff. And it does have regular demons that you fight. In two, at least. I don't know if they have them in one. Yeah, Bayo does have demons. That sounds good. Oh boy, that might be another trailer we watch then. Ooh, audio spectral analysis complete. Let me look at that. That? That, can't, that sounds like baby to me. Let me turn my volume up and listen to that. Um, let me just mute, mute the game real quick so I can hear better. It is Bale! Let's go! Okay, sick. Fantastic. What is that? that sounds like baby to me. Okay. Okay, thank God. And, and Bayonetta at the same time, too. Fantastic. Oh, is she still... What haircut does she have? Is it short or long? I need to know. What does her hair look like? Also, I'm going to increment the count. Ten, baby. We did it, boys. I need to turn my volume down way more. Oh, fuck. This guy again. And I, I need to dab out. There we go. Okay, sick. Going down her shoulders on the front. Ooh, new hairstyle again. Good. I'm liking that being a, a thing they just do with the Bayonetta games, is she gets a different hairstyle each game. And it's like, fairly drastically different. I don't know. It could... But there was nothing... There was no creature there. It, it was just a whisper. And she's dancing, of course. Good. Glad this game is finally coming out. We've had literally nothing on it for years. And I was worried it was cancelled. And this is this is the one of the two things I've been asking for. From every Nintendo like showcase or direct or whatever the fuck. Every single time. It's Bayo 3 and Prime 4. We finally got one. It's been so long. Twin Drill! <laughs> oh. Holy shit. Twin Drill Bayo. Wow, okay. We are definitely watching that trailer whenever I stop to watch trailers. We might wait till after the show, just so we've got everything uh, all at once. Got the controls. Hey, stop shooting those things at me. Don't point that thing at me. Man, that's that sounds great. That's just a, ha a, a hairstyle for Bale. His short was really nice. I love short Bayo. More than I like uh, one Bayo. But Twin Drill sounds real nice. 2022, not even a month. I'll, I'll take that. I'm happy with just a month. Because before we had absolutely nothing. Does Bayo have a Virgil? Yes, yeah, she does. Her name is John. Or something like that, I think. And she, uh, she wears red. Well, she has John and she has the guy uh, in two. Who's also in one. But he's more of a Virgil in two. Some Virgil-looking guy just slashed the date. Uh, that's probably the guy from 2. Was he wearing white? 
because he was in kind of a time loop thing. It might not be him. It might be someone new. Because Jean, Jean is another lady, and she wears red. He had short hair, though. It might be the guy. I mean, he's in one as well. I think he's the main villain of one, actually. And he becomes more of a Virgil in two. So it might be him. Looks basically exactly like Virgil. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. You don't know what you're saying to me, bro. I love Virgil so much. Holy tank. No, what? Did, didn't they show Metroid? We, we talked about Metroid, didn't we? Unless I just made that up. There, there was Metroid, wasn't there? Ah, there's a terminal up there. We can't climb this ladder, can we? Or can we? It showed Dread. But it was a re oh, no, Prime 4. Yeah, yeah. I, w I honestly wasn't really expecting it. But yeah, the Dread thing didn't look like it was... Sh uh, it was uh, it didn't sound like it was too much new. But yeah, it's fine, though. We'll, we'll watch it anyway. All in all, wow, it's nothing. But yeah, a ladder in a Metroid game. We can't. We still can't use it, of course, but... It's it's there. Samus doesn't know what a ladder is. She has to do it this way instead. Yeah, I, f I feel like I would have been overall, not disappointed, but largely unenthused if I had watched that whole thing live, which is why I don't watch these things live, generally. Because a lot of, uh, you know, it's, it's stuff people will care about. I don't uh, intend to begrudge people what they enjoy, but... You know, card games and a lot, and, and just ports of games I've already got or wouldn't play on a Switch. I heard it again. I'm not. I I heard the baby again. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it again because that could play an infinite amount of times as long as I stay in here. But we heard it once. It's been a huge waste of my time and my night is ruined. I'm I'm so sorry. Yeah, new Kirby. Well, I'll have a look at that as well. Actually, that'll go on the list. So, Dread, Bayo, Kirby. Hey, I, I consider Bayo a massive win, because we've been waiting on that for years. We haven't had anything in ages. I'm happy about that. And we actually needed to go up here to progress. I was just trying to backtrack. Got a free E-Tank, though. Mandatory E-Tank again. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a look at Kirby. Maybe I'll get it. I don't know. I hear uh, uh, it's my like my filters and my the you know the nature of my mic are probably filtering it out. But I can hear a car alarm going off. I only just noticed it. I hate I hate when car alarms just go off endlessly so much. Ooh, huh. that's interesting. Don't know how we get that. Biosphere test area. Oh god, they could put something very big in here. Uh oh the Acrius alarm. That's right. The people need me. I have to go out and fight. Oh, they just pushed me up to the door. I'm, I'm not in control. Exam center. Oh, this is why we were going to meet the crew. The, uh, the, the band of idiots. I was going to say the three musketeers, but there's a lot more of them than three. Yeah, I'll, I'll go out and handle it later. It's fine. It's not. It's it's not a car. I I. It's not a car belonging to me, so I'm not worried about it. Where are the boys? I need to beat them up. Please authorize me something. Is that that one of those grapple things? Looks like it. Another save? I didn't just backtrack, did I? No, they just gave give me another save. What the fuck? Oh, and a coolant. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on. I assume there's going to be stuff in that big room at, an, at another point. That's why there's two saves. Ah, there we go. Thank you very much. Uh oh, two ways to go. And no objective marker. How terrifying. Oh, that solved it for me. That's my worst fear. Having two different ways to go and no indication of which is the correct one. And another one of these drones. And, uh... Nothing to do? Just a door I can't open. Huh. Can I bomb this? Looks a bit suspicious. No. Save on either side of a huge room. Definitely a future boss arena. I mean, yeah, with how big it was. Oh, how about this? Ah. Is that bomb? 
No, regular missile. Okay. Hello? Hmm? Why did you make me go on this tiny detour just to open that door? That's suspicious. And putting all these dead, question mark, drones in the way? Hmm. Strange. Very strange. Feels like we're building up to something, but I don't really have any inkling of what it is, except it's probably a boss. Again, with the ro- just the robots everywhere. Be nicer to robots, man. Honestly. Huh? An ajar door? Never seen something like that before. Oh. We're in horror game mode. I can't even turn around. I can't even go backwards. We just- we simply must- must push forward. But I don't want to go. Hey, hello. Which one are you? James Pierce. I don't remember- you- you didn't stand out the first time around, so... Oh, here's the rest. Hmm. Please give me an ability. Please let me use something different. The CPU seems to have self-destructed. The central system is broken into parts, but I think mm. I might to restore it and recover. I don't even have anything to say about Let's most of these cutscenes. There's just nothing interesting going on generally. Like the CEO said, there might be some pretty crucial information hidden here. Well, while Maurice here is working his magic, the rest of us should search this building. Am I right? Got, Got it. it. Got about the entire Scooby-Doo type activity you can do while playing this game. That's Steve Metroid? Hi, Luna. Yeah, it is. We have to hang out with these idiots because they won't authorize me to use princess. any of my weapons. And he calls me princess. Bring back any memories? Yeah. Looks like oh, no. We're going back into a pre-rendered cutscene, aren't we? Oh, I can feel it. Oh, no! Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, we're good. Don't 90% of these people die? Probably. I mean, I suspect as much when, like, they... Like, none of them are distinct from each other personality-wise, except for the one who calls me Princess, and the one who is Adam, who is the only established character. And he's almost certainly gonna die, because he's dead by, dead by the only other game he's in. Which is the one immediately after this one. <laughs> Well, he's also in Dread, but that's not out yet. But yeah, he's a he's a robot by uh, Fusion, which makes him much more agreeable in my book. There's a gen uh, constructed logical puzzle you can solve from watching the cutscenes with these nothing burger guys. Oh God, is there like a traitor or something? Or oh God, I don't even want to know. And yeah, the third save point with. You know, nothing having happened in between. Oh, and then the lights will flicker on and off. Nosferatu. God's sake. <laughs> nah, nah. Right, Metroid, Metroid can do, you know, horror. They've done horror in Fusion, and they can do amazing atmosphere. But this is not it. Limiting me to this camera view with an extremely slow move speed... And doing the, oh, the flickering lights and the atmosphere. And hyper-realistic blood came out of the screen. And Mario said f the fuck word. God's sake. This is not scary. Can I not interact with you idiots? Can't even see the labels on those spilled snack products. Yeah, that would have at least been fun. To see, like, the weird names they come up with. Oh my god, I'm moonwalking. Yeah, we could have had some world building. But no, it's just... Corridors. Oh, 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 the steam. Oh, my God. Terrified. How, many how much more of this are you going to make me do? God. Uh, can, we, can we do a boss fight? This looks like a boss fight room. Yeah. What is that? Hello? Something... This is something cool. Oh, God. It's just a bunch of fucking doors to check. Jesus. 
This is the Metroid experience. <laughs> this is no Doom 3. Oh, God. I'm going to have to play Doom 3 at some point. Because um, I think I've played it before. But not to completion. And I have some thoughts about that game. I have some thoughts about that game's shotgun. Oh, God. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? That's That's got a Federation logo on it. It looks like a Chozo. Cyborgs of Ezians? What the fuck? Are you seeing this? It's a Zabesian. What the fuck's a Zabesian? It's not a... It's not a... Is that a Chozo? Or what? Your investigation. Eh? Or is it a space pirate? Ah, the Zebra's space pirates. Right, okay. I figured. What the fuck? Why? Why? Question mark? All right. So like those rider kicking guys. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. I mean, a, a lot of the original Kamen Riders were cyborgs. This ship is under management of the Galactic Feds hiring Zeke's. Oh no. Facilities, life forms from each planet have been raised and researched as possible. Mm. Oh no, they're all fucking BOWs. Site manager and development director. Doctor. Hmm. The name starts with an M. You just, you just said that they were. Are you listening? I think she was just spacing out, thinking about the baby. Hmm. I didn't need to press Adam about it anymore. You didn't? You do? I knew his mind. Not only was he a strong he? opponent of bioweapons, he was against the use of living things for unnecessary reasons, oh. period. Uh, mm. Life. Yeah, let me use all my no tools then, so I don't become a dead living thing, universe, you fucker. Should not be tampered with. That was Adam's mm. philosophy. In bringing the infant Metroid back, I did something... Oh, I God. That, you know, oh, fuck. Daddy doesn't approve of the baby. Born out of wedlock. Daddy's angry about it. Fuck's sake. Who gives a shit? He's cooler when he's dead. Literally. Fuck off, Samus. You're better than this. You shouldn't be that concerned. Fuck off. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Can't get past it, James. That'll be where you come in. Leave it to me. Shouldn't be Seriously, a it's so sad. I mean, it might tell us what Again, if we didn't have Dread coming out, I would be, I would be like way more time. angry at this. Madeline might still be somewhere in this building. Keep scouting for more intel. Oh yeah, Let's yeah, go. Camu. I, I, I have, I, I know what you mean. The uh, Indian, Indian soap operas with the, the smash, the infinite, infinity smash cuts. Oh my god. Really tempted to recut these other M cutscenes in that style. That's a really funny idea. What kind of personality were they trying to give Samus here? A uh, doormat? Hysterical woman? I don't know. Some Something between those two. Obviously baby crazy. We've established that. I'm still slow. Okay. Another save! Aside from the cutscenes, nothing has happened in the last four save stations. Unhinged Christmas cake, yeah. Not really in the fun way, though. Although, no, I've, I've dealt with unhinged Christmas cakes before. You, you don't want to deal with that. I, I guess I prefer this type. No, no more, no more Christmas cakes. Where the fuck are we going now? Wait, have we been here before? I don't even know anymore. These corridors all look the fucking same. Huh? Wait, do we... No, we what? No, no, we didn't, it's not mapped out at all. Weird. Always thought Samus was being cool and aloof, not quite tough as nails, badass, but just quiet and calm, serious. Yeah. Like bathrooms in a mansion. Yeah, yeah. Why the fuck are we? I, I guess we. Oh, we've been here before, I think. Jesus, these controls. But yeah, she, she doesn't. From the other game, she doesn't seem to me to be the type who would be. So concerned about Adam's opinion of, you know, bringing back the baby and stuff. Oh, Jesus Christ. Get me out of here. I don't even... 
I wasn't really paying attention. I don't know where we're going or what we're doing. Fucking hell. Get me out of this section. I hate being in here. Please convey these story sections differently. Oh, we're back here again. Like, we can't see any of this on the map. It's not mapped. That's nightmarish. Maybe this way? Oh. I saw that drip. Not the, even the good kind of drip. She doesn't seem like the type to have an internal monologue like Batman. Yeah. Oh, hello. What the fuck are you? Oh, it's more of these cyborg fuckers. Yo. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Proper, proper enemies that aren't just animals. What? <laughs> Everyone else leave. Samus, you do it. What the fuck? What if it... So why can't I use power bombs then? If you're just going to be like that. Come on. Right, you're getting jumped on, first of all. Get fucking jumped on. Uh. Yes, get, get, get fucking executed. Oh, great animation. Much as I don't like, like everything that's happening, the, the animations are good. Oh, yo. Oh, shit. Oh, that, oh, that one's down. Yeah, get him. Samus, you do all the hard work for the men. Yeah, and then they're the one who treat they're the ones who treat her like shit. And restrict what she can use when she's the most competent out of all of them. Hate that shit. Love me Samus. Hate me Federation goons. God. Like if this game had a slightly better control scheme. Like if it Oh! You see that? I just fucking jug like Juggled those guys, or got juggled by those guys, however you want to put it. That was sick. But if, if this was on a better controller and didn't have the motion control stuff, it'd be good. It'd be real good. Hate the Federation. I hate the Federation. Come out, Samus. We have you surrounded. That's what it's going to turn into if this keeps up. Love to execute space pirates. Oh god, now we're back in the bad control zone. Jesus Christ. Right, can I leave now? Now that I've done all your work for you, you pieces of shit. Incapable. At least the ones in Prime 3 actually fought. And they had the PED devices too. Which wasn't good for them ultimately, but they did they did good work. One comment I can make now with everything fresh is how much I like Prime's environment design. Yeah. Like, the, this area, especially... Like, some of the areas in this have been alright. But most of these corridors are not great. And yes, there was always something to give you a sense of direction. These corridors, I cannot tell if I've been in half of them already or not. Jesus Christ. And this whole game takes place on this space station, by the way. So, the, um, the, the holodecks are probably the most environment variety we're going to get. Good grief. <sighs> Alright. Gun down. Can't even shoot these fucks. Cutscene. Ah, <sighs> cinematic games. What now? Is something actually happening in this area? Yes, I've, I've heard it. Described as character assassination too, and that's absolutely what it is. It's fucked. I am not surprised about the copying and pasting either. All right, now we got to do a boss fight down there. Oh, we're just running straight out. So no, so those like half of those save points were still pointless because we just got cutscened past them. This guy looks vaguely familiar, doesn't he? Hmm, weird. Weird purple lizard. But it's also got white fur, which is also familiar in a different way. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder. Oh, and uh, it's trying to stab me with his tail. This doesn't bring back good memories at all. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. We're in. Okay. Uh, hey. Ridley, you motherfucker. 
Oh, I spoiled it. Whatever. I'm sure you already know. This is Ridley, or a clone of Ridley. That's what the, the thing from earlier is, too. Ah! You prick. This game doesn't deserve to not ha to not have its twist spoiled. Yeah, it's Ridley. They they cloned him. Cause yeah, the the whole thing with the bio bio experiments was they cloned every life form on Zebes, which I guess includes Ridley. I don't know how they got the the material. I guess it was, it was just some remains left down there or in space. Cause the planet got blown up. Gee, stop moving your tail around like that. Trade was in the Dread trailer. Yeah, yeah, he was shown in one of the trailers a while ago. But yes, I'm very glad for Craig to be back. Bro, stop wiggling. Stop wiggling. We're gonna get mating pre No, we're not gonna get mating pressed by t Teen Ridley. No. That's gross. Another element of this game I warmed up on is first I didn't like the enemy design. Uh, I got deep into Tokusatsu and appreciate the designs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like them too. Yeah, no, I do not want that with Ridley. Not, uh, n definitely not this Ridley either. There he goes. Thanks for nothing, guys. Gotta wait for him to reach legal age. No! Life form wants to breed to preserve its species. No, lad. That's too much. Pay the fine. Pay the fine. Oh, Jesus Christ. Lad. I didn't fucking need it, but you're useless. Should give you a PED and let it kill you. But there's no phase on left anyway. Oh no, someone died. Oh no, Lyle. Well, he's the only one I actually remember. He's the one who hates bugs. Let me look at him. Is I swear to God, if they're going to force me to look at Adam. Is this Adam? Lock on to Adam. I... Oh, that's just KG. Uh, right. I I was hoping that the thing was going to come up with, like, the weapon selection. And it was going to be selecting Adam. And it was just going to say Super Missile. Or something like that. Power Bomb. Why do I need to do this? Among Sus. No. Yes. Yes and. Yes and game. Oh god, I hate these sections. This sucks. What? Yeah, I know. It's James. Maurice. Oh, green stuff. Green stuff? Green stuff. Uh. Wow, green stuff. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Uh, I. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, I know. It, do it doesn't pick up. Like, I have to. Yeah, I have to do that. It doesn't even show up when I mouse over it. Staring at the match, but she, she'd be an asterisk. She means she is. We've been talking about it, that she's just baby crazy. But not in that way. If it bleeds, it bleeds. No. No, the baby. No. This was the lowest point of the game for you. No. Ooh. Oh. No, it's not. Oh. Mm. So, yes. That. That little baby thing from earlier was also Ridley. It's a baby Ridley. Apparently that's what Ridley looked like when he was a baby. Who knew? Are we going back in? The, the, no, don't say that, lad. Fine, you haven't paid the last fine. You need, like, three fines at this point from what you said this stream alone, like, the past few minutes. Yeah, it's blood. It's just blood. You remember that cute little baby? That was me, Ridley. It was me all along, Samus. Eh? Oh, okay. Point of no return, I guess. Cool landing, at least. Oh. Remember when you had to wait for authorization? That was me, Ridley. I mean, I, I was going to say, remember when I killed your parents, but yeah, we, we already knew that. Um, what else? What else? Uh, remember when Maurice called you princess? It was, that was me! I 
wonder if Adam It was me, you. Samus. It was me all along. I orchestrated Marcus, the whole thing. I knew I had to talk to the person in charge. Madeline. Madeline. Such a weird thing to be fixated on. This game is about babies. We'll show you. Even Ridley is a baby. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. Like, they've established... They've established that Samus has a maternal connection to the baby. But the baby is dead. As of the previous game. Like, the baby doesn't exist in the present. So there's nothing much they can do with it. So they're doing the daddy issues angle instead. With Adam. So they haven't really done anything with her character yet, except made her shit. And yeah, the whole ship is shaped like a baby's bottle just because. And, for, for those who didn't see before, I, I, I talked about another thing they did in this game. Someone put a baby in her already. God, I wish. But uh, yeah, I mean, they, they there's, also, there's also this. They also did this incredibly subtle symbolism with the, with the, the, title, the whole title of the game. And yeah, the internal monologue isn't good. It's it's a weak way of, you know, giving her characterization. And also, it's just not good. And uh, I barely even edited this. I just split the two apart in Photoshop. And then I could just... I, I did a whole thing earlier where I had it here. And then I, I slowly moved it here to reveal the truth. Oh, it, it, it uh, didn't update on your guys' side. But I, I moved it. I, I moved it. There you go. Anyway. Yeah, it's just another piece of the incredible subtext hidden within this game. Ooh, Pyrosphere. Cool. I see those grapple targets back there. Samus model art infusion, but it was probably done because of limitations. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's also Adam, but I mean that we've done we've done monologues for Samus before, kind of, because we did it in soup at the start of Super, uh, and I think I think there was a bit in uh, Samus Returns as well. So it's not unheard of, but it's just done to introduce the game instead of, like, the main stuff. What the fuck is going on in here? You just add S into the title. You get Asteroid Mother. <laughs> That's perfect. Also, look at this shit. I know it's going to be another holodeck thing, but it, it's fucking... It's Dark Souls 2 all over again, except we went down into this instead of up. Jesus Christ. Fucking Earth and Peak. Oh! I got Vord again. Am I... I'm dead. Uh... What the fuck? Game? What are you doing? What the fuck do you mean? Huh? Everyone dies here once. Well, yeah, because there's no indication that that's going to fucking happen. Fuck. But yeah, like, the way they do the monologues in the previous games, they just do it at the start. It doesn't say much about a character, and that. But then, like you know, it's just something to set the scene, and then they they just tell the rest of the story by you know environment and the stuff that happens. Otherwise, this is the whole game. Yeah, very very cool game. Thank you. What the fuck? I would be fucking pissed if there wasn't a checkpoint there. Fuck that. What? Yeah, I see him back there. That doesn't indicate to me at all that he's actually going to do that to me and I'm going to get insta-killed. So, where's, where's the point of no return for, for this? Do I need to back up? Or what? Eh? Huh? I... Okay, you need to, like, dodge. What the fuck? That's some hot garbage, bro. We can't grapple that. Let's just move on. That is awful. Wow. I didn't like that. Samus' character expressed through other things. Yeah, exactly. So this music and Super Metroid chain you to her theme when you come back to Criteria. Yeah. Much stronger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sick. Oh, and Guardia. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the gift sub to Basebug. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's weird. Like, they've changed the, um, the way it looks on my end when you do that. That confused me for a second. But thank you very much. Oh, and yeah, if you're heading out, uh, Thanks for, uh, yeah, thank you very much for coming by, and thank you for the sub as well, as always. Although this game is terrible, I can't deny that this game makes me extra, extra horny, because this game is developed by the same team that made the Dead or Alive series. Lad, you haven't paid any of your fucking fines. Pay the fine, you maniac. That's awful. 
<sighs> Why, lad? Why? So, so, okay. I, I agree. I do agree. I, I was thinking of exactly that. I will admit. I was thinking of Samus with dead or alive physics. But, still. Still. I never played any of those games. I just know about them. Do I have to pay the fine? I... Yeah, sure, sure. Sure, why not? If you feel you need to pay, to pay it, then fine. I'm not the only one who decides. There you go. That's that's sensible. That's a sensible fine. Okay. Did that open the door? Really? Okay. So it's a, a mandatory save point. And we're taking damage from the heat, because, you know, I, I, I have this Varia suit for nothing, apparently. You only you pay fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So we have we have c sort of QTEs because we have to dodge in like pseudo cutscenes. The game doesn't establish this; it just forces you to die once, at least once, to learn it. That sucks. I appreciate that it's the same input as the actual. Wait, no, it's not the same input because you have to jump. I think. Well, let me check next time. Yeah, lad, pay up. You're going to fucking jail otherwise. I don't want to risk dying, because I know it's an instant kill if I fuck up. But I think I'm having to press um, B, not A. Oh, up. When you see Chris from RE5 punching a ball around the side. Yeah, it does look like that volcano, doesn't it? I was wondering like, what that kind of reminded me of. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh god, here we go. Right, get bullied. No, I didn't want to jump on him. I, he was not down. Oh, you're not down. No, no, he's off. Fuck. Looks like the normal beam won't have any what? The here. I could have used the ice beam the entire time. Adam, you piece of shit. Fuck. Fuck this. What other beams are you hiding from me, Samus? Do you still have the hyper beam? You're just not telling me? Freezing targets. Okay, great. Can freeze targets with the charge beam. Okay. I'm gonna read that in a sec, lad, but I have to I have to take care of this room first. Does it does it freeze these guys? Oh it does it freezes their weapons. Ah, that's cool. Never done it that way before. I'm gonna charge it. Uh. Oh now I've got it. Now it works with missiles. Okay. Now it doesn't work. Okay. Fucking hell. Ultimate unlock admin admin permissions. Yeah. They could have just been using this the entire time. How many times have I risked my life where this would have been helpful? And I, it's not like I was ever restricted from using this. Adam never said not to use it. And yeah. Yeah, 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 Crispy. That's the way it works. I, Samus has all of her abilities. And it's not even that she's been told not to use them. She's been told not to use power bomb, for for reasonable reasons because it's extremely dangerous and there are other people around. But Adam didn't even say anything about not using anything else. Just, just Samus. It says Samus has, like when we tried to use the bombs originally and they weren't unlocked. It said something like Samus has decided not to use the bombs and missiles until she gets authorization. Right, vocal system override uh, from Lad. Oh, God. I heavily endorse trying out the Dead or Alive Extreme Volleyball series. The game is rich with minigames and other cultural content. I mean, I don't know. I haven't played them. They seem fine. All right. We got, oh, we got our first submit topic query from Luna. Thank you. That's the first time that's been used. Uh, what do I think about authorizing anti-personnel missiles and turning off anti-friendly fire me measures? I, I, I think that would be good. I think that would be good if we could just blow all these idiots up. And yeah, he doesn't... Like, they're not... They are not locked. It's Samus choosing to do this. And she didn't... It, it sucks. But yeah, I think... I, I would be very happy if all these characters died. And I suspect that they are. I assume Adam's going to. Because he's d dead in the only other games he's in. But we'll see. We'll see.
yeah, hopefully they'll die. And, like, none, like, the only, like, one of the only other characters who's shown any distinct personality has already died. And his distinct personality was being very aggressive and kicking a bug. Hey, we froze his leg. Cool. I like the way the freeze is, like, unique for different enemies. That's neat. I hate the controls of the camera, though. She's only doing this because she wants to follow military protocol, and I feel like they retconned all that backstory about it being in the military just to justify it. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Oh, God. Because, like, she's never... She's, I mean, she's always been a lone wolf in every other game, basically. There's never been anything about her that, like, submitted to authority in any capacity. I mean, even in the backstory, she doesn't really, even though she is still working for them. But right, oh god, here we go. Right, boys, let's get real. How do we like our Samus? Dumb, sub, kinky, vanilla? Um, I honestly don't know. I need to think about it. Hmm. Probably... Honestly, I think I could go for anything. Like, her being... Her being shy because of her difficult upbringing and, like, you know, her being socially awkward. That's that's nice. I like that kind of thing. I mean, I like all kinds of things. Like, her being her being a gentle dumb would be really nice. Yeah. I, any, anything, really. I just like Samus. If you were former military and then left to become a bird alien bounty hunter, why would you want to be a, st a stickler for chain of command? Yeah, for sure. It's dumb. Oh, yeah, I just noticed those are the side hoppers from the previous games. I hadn't noticed. I know we've had... I've, like, I've noticed some of the returning enemies, but I hadn't uh, locked that those were what they were, because we've had those for a while. But I can't... I can't get a good shot on them from down here. Sam is making weird arm flaps and making walking sounds as per traditional Chozo mating dance. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you prefer Samus with short hair or long hair? I guess I'm not picky. Um, cause I, li I like both short and long hair a lot. No matter what. Oh, it's a super missile thing. I mean, I like her most with the helmet on. So the the, the hair doesn't really come into it. Short hair is nice. I talked before about, about how I really like short hair Bayo. I definitely like short hair Bayo more than long hair Bayo. But I need to see the new outfit first. Hold on, I need to clear all these out so I can get the... So I can see if there's any secrets in here. Oh, fuck. Wait, I'm burning. Am I? I saw I, it. It looked like I was taking damage there. Would you prefer the baby Metroid watch? I, I don't I don't like that. I think I prefer bratty, bratty sub short hair Samus. Yeah, I'd like that. That's good. I think you can just make her whatever and it'd be good. Ah, I see. I think that might be the way we need to go, though. Yeah, it's fine. How about shaved or bushy? <laughs> uh, am I really going to have to say this on stream? Uh... Okay, no. Not not going that way. Um, How am I supposed to answer this question? Jesus Christ. Feathers. <laughs> Feathers is good. Um, Yeah, I... 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 I uh, what the hell am I saying? I, I do... I do like not shaved... I like that. I would like that. Yeah, that's that's what I'll say. She does have Chozo DNA. Could be. I'm sure there's a lot of it. Oh, that's kind of low health there too, damn. But yeah, uh, un unshaved would be nice, but I'm fine with either. You know. Like I said, I'm not terribly picky. And I just... I have a wide... A, wi a wide strike zone, I guess? Samus lays eggs. Oh no. Oh, what the fuck are this thing? Wacky, wavy, infl inflatable, arm flailing tube man. Oh, God! I'm trapped? Jesus Christ. I just got a, 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 heart, a heart problem when I fall in the lava. I can't get out. Jesus Christ. Varia suit, by the way. Varia suit. If it turns out that they've restricted the use of my Varia suit... And I could be just surviving this no problem. I'm going to be extremely angry. Please continue. Jesus Christ. That was awful. Guess I need to charge the shell. Should I tell you? Oh no, they're going to do it, aren't they? Oh, we can dodge that. Welcome to the dumbest part of the game. Oh no, is this it? 
Is this them doing that right now? I'm going to be upset. I'm going to get upset at this video game. There you go. Get fucking frozen. That looks painful as well. Having like your insides frozen. I'm not going to say a single thing. Oh no. Luna. That, that alone is enough. I know what that means. Uh, my opinion of this game is sinking every moment. God, I don't even know why I'm doing this. I'm just doing it to see if a, a, a secret thing pops up. Just concentrate. Yeah. This is this is you being sneaky again, isn't it? It's you telling me to use the concentration mechanic. Are you doing that again? You've done that before. All that does is refill my missiles right now, though, as far as I know. Unless there's something you're not telling me. You know Team Ninja bag, uh, begged Sakamoto to let them use the nunchuck. <laughs> really? Didn't know that. I know this game just uses the Wemo. Oh, God. Uh, I don't... No, you don't have to. I don't think. I'm just trying to get across. But... Oh, it's a baby one. But, um... Oh, fuck. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna regret this. When you kill every enemy in a room, it highlights the... Oh, just concentrate. That's what you meant. Just concentrate. I forgot. Shit. And they got denied. Yeah, it's not a good design for an enemy, really. Yeah, I know we can... I, I know about concentrating to heal. I can only do it sometimes. Yeah, that that time. That time was not a time. But yeah, I'm not going to bother with this. Because if they're really going to do that fucking thing where I can just totally survive this, but Samus is just choosing not to, then, then fuck it. I will just charge through this room and come back later. Or just not come back at all. Because this game doesn't deserve it. Doesn't deserve my time. I'm just being nice to it. Uh, Team Ninja... Oh, fuck. Well, apparently they did uh, the Dead or Alive games. They did Neo 1 and 2, I think. And they've probably done other stuff that I can't think of off the top of my head. Did they do uh, Did they do Ninja Gaiden? Is that why they're called Team, Team Ninja? I can't remember if that's them. What's with the baby count? Does Samus want to have 10 kids? No, that is... Oh, fuck. Let me out. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck this. This sucks. But yeah, the baby counter is every time uh, ba the word baby is said in this game. I think Ninja Theory did Ninja Gaiden. Oh, it's probably them. Yeah, I get them mixed up. because You can understand. But yeah, they definitely did Neo 1 and 2. That's what they've been doing since this. Feel bad for saying it. Sakamoto being the showrunner for this franchise is the reason why I didn't get any love for a long time. He has zero vision. Oh yeah, fuck that. That sucks. They did Ninja Gaiden Black. Oh. Oh no, it is Team Ninja for Gaiden. Okay, sick. I was right all along. Let's go. I thought I was wrong, but I wasn't. I was right all along. <laughs> Acrius, I'm going to tell you right now. Run through. I know, I know, I'm trying. It's just, I think I need to kill this one in front of me. Like, the ones that get in the way. Like, that one. I think I need to kill him to get through. I'm not trying to kill all of them. Fuck. They do a lot of damage, though. If the, I, I, I'm almost certain they're going to do this now. And that's basically going to make this game irredeemable. Fuck! How do I get up there? That's not a jump I can do, is it? This fucking sucks. I'm sad to disappoint, but he has involvement with Dread. Oh. I mean, Samus, Re Samus Returns was good. That's the most recent game. Samus Returns is on... Uh, Dread is on the same engine. Everything of Dread we've seen looks good. So I have, I have hope. I have hope. I think Dread's going to be fucking fine. He was also re involved in returns. Good. Good. So it's not all bad. It's just we had a bad... <laughs> we had a bad run for a good while. I... I... I possess much hatred. Do I have to freeze him and jump on him? Is that why he's small? Sakamoto also made Super Fusion and Zero Mission. All good games. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do I have to jump on this fucker's head? Oh, fucking depth perception. Fuck it. All of Prime as an advisor, yeah? Right. How do I how do I get up there? That's not a jump I can do. Right? Oh, it is. Just barely. Fucking hell. 
Just the other end was his notable stinker, yeah. Get me the fuck. I know I can oh, I can go back there. That's just a way back around. Screw that. We're leaving. We're leaving. My health low enough to concentrate yet? No. Of course not. God, that is awful. Like if I if I were to do like a a a point like a point rating, like putting on a ten point scale or something like that for this game. That that alone, like this whole thing, would move this game down at least one point. That is hot trash. Why is my shot not working? There we go. What the fuck? Just wouldn't it wouldn't pop off for some reason. No, I'm not trying to hit these game. There we go. Yeah, he's probably learned his lesson. Intentionally lower your energy to concentrate. I was thinking of doing that, but then... I mean, maybe I'll do that if I get the opportunity again. Oh, fuck. Hello. It's a, it's a horseshoe crab. I've got zero health. But, well, I've got one health. I'm flickering between one and zero health. What the fuck? I didn't know that was a thing that could happen. You see that? Yeah, it's a, it's a horseshoe crab as an enemy. Or a boss, I don't know. Oh, there's his weak point. I see. Right, do it again. Get popped. Maybe he wants a missile. Hey, 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 hey. Horseshoe. No. Yeah, it's a, a trilobite thing. Hey, yo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa there, buddy. Whoa there, buddy. I need to concentrate. Just, just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Thank you. I couldn't get the missile in time. Uh. Oh, that was the weak point. I don't know if we could get it then. Come on, do the charge again. Rule number 35, kid. Concentrate. There we go. That was a good one. And we do get a slowdown. So I can... I can... Oh, fuck. Not if he does that. I can do it later, though. Oh, we can dodge that, too. Of course. Uh, too, of course. Keep forgetting that basically everything is dodgeable. Alright, come on. Hit me with it. Oh, fuck. I should have done that earlier. Running low on health. What's rule 34? You you know exactly what rule 34 is, you, you fuck. You fine dodging fuck. There we go, we got him. Whew, that was a bit close. Jesus. Alright, that's not interactable. Of course not. Not authorized to use this console. Oh, I see that. Uh, it's too high though. I think I remember the adverts for this game, and it showed a kid doing tokusatsu poses to demonstrate the missile view mode. Huh. That's weird. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Ew! Oh, oh, fuck! Adam! Authorize me, please! Oh. This is just a fucking microwave hallway. Kind of fun for me, believing in that kayfabe and aiming the remote at the screen. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, save. Jesus Christ. Right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go... I'm go we're going to go on until I find out what the fuck is going on with this Faria suit thing. And then I'm going to find the nearest save, and then we're going to stop. And then we're going to watch those trailers as well. And then we will call it. We still got a bit to do though. Good work in this pain section so far. Don't say so far. That just makes me feel worse. It popped. Hurts spiritually. It hurts me spiritually. That such a such bad game design decisions would get made. That hurts me greatly. Mm, get popped. God damn it. Lock on. Ooh, I'm in the air. Holy shit. That was fancy. Got bullied. Nice. The regular combat's fine. Just these fucks. 
Oh, what's this? It's just closed. Not even bombable? Or... No? Okay. Oh, well, there's this terminal right here. Maybe it has something to do with this. What would be the point for Adam to not allow Samus to use the heat-resistant suit when she's by herself in lava caves and going into a volcano? That's my question, too. That's what I want to find out. Could it, the, the thought of it alone is making me quite pissed at this game. Because if that's really just how dumb this is, then I'm going to be real upset. Borderline subordinate abuse. Well, maybe he can get away with it because she's not even his subordinate. She's she's freelance. She doesn't have to put up with his bullshit at all. And even then, I'm I'm putting this more on Samus than Adam because Adam never said not to use the Varia suit. The only thing he ever said anything about was the power bomb. Everything else is Samus. Which is why it's so fucked that they've done this to a character cuz she's doing this to herself. And yeah, I don't I don't think the other Federation guys have been here yet. But I, I doubt... Fuck this again. I don't I don't know if they have any way of dealing with high temperatures. But they haven't shown any. But I'm, I'm laying the blame more on Samus in this case for all the bullshit. Fuck. Fuck. I'm just running. Fuck. I'm just running through. Fuck this. Get me out of here. Please get me out of here. Okay, cutscene. Uh, excuse me! Lads, I'm fucking upset. What the fuck do you mean? What the fuck do you mean? And she, she wasn't restricted from using it. She wasn't restricted from using it. She just didn't. She just didn't use it. Have you not learned how to use move sense? Kind of. I'm just bad at it. I was just trying to run through that. Uh, I've just. I assume uh, those QTE esque ones work the same way. I've been hitting the button, and that's not been working. But I'm. Fu you don't fucking know how upset I am. I. <clears throat> makes a joke about a uh, YouTuber you watch makes a joke about Adam being AFK from his control station in the section because he was pooping. That makes sense. But like, again, I. I'm more angry than I would be if it was just Adam restricting her from using it. Yeah, it makes it makes Samus look stupid. That's what I'm getting at. Because Adam never said anything about the Varia suit. He only said power bombs and maybe about missiles, which are understandable. That makes sense. I understand restricting those because there are other people around. But there's absolutely no reason for her to not have the... Because, like, she has the shoulders. It's always been obvious she's had the Varia suit for the entire game. But she just chose not to use the life-saving anti-heat functions of the Varia suit. Which makes Samus look like a, a an absolute fucking idiot. Which is how this game assassinates her character. That is fucking awful. And it reduces enemy attack damage. She's been taking more damage than she needed to this entire game. And there was absolutely no reason for it. Like, yeah, Ad Adam fucking saved her. She did this to herself. She would have gone through this without it the entire time. Fuck, get me out of this. Ah. I see that weak point. That's how you do sense, sense, sense move, kind of. I, I vaguely get it. Oh, that, that missile tried it. It failed, though. Okay, not that. Only way you can make this slightly better narratively if it's framed about how devoted are you to obeying... Yeah, yeah. If they did it like that, that'd be cool. Where she's being... D like... When she would still be incredibly dumb and it would still be bad for her character, but it would at least be a reason other than absolutely nothing. Because otherwise they just made her look like a complete idiot. Doing a challenge run. Yeah, she's doing she's doing low completion percentage, is all. Fuck. I'm not good at sense move. I don't fully understand it completely. Like I need I think I need to let go of move and then move. Or maybe I just need to jump over this and it can't be done. I don't know. Because there's no like in-game indication as to what can and can't be sense moved. It just seems to be everything, question mark? 
I'll just jump over it. Fuck it. I don't care. It would be explicitly subordinate abuse, yeah. But it would be an interesting thing for it to deal with. Yeah, it would be... It would be a thing. I still wouldn't like it, but it would be better than what we got. Do you not pay attention? I did pay attention to the tutorial. It's just not worded the best way. Like, can I can I just continue moving, or do I need to let go of movement and then and then move again? Because it's just it's not it's not hitting A. Is it? It's just movement, right? I did it once. Then I just don't understand it. Just tap. It's just a tap at the right time, right? That's that, that, that's less good. I just need to get the timing right, apparently. That wasn't the right timing. That wasn't the right timing. I'm trying to find out where the right timing is for this. It's, I've been fine with other enemies, just not this. Yeah, yeah, his health has barely gone down. Next phase, please. Oh, God, he's on fire. Yeah, I, I managed that one, but it was accidental. These were all accidental. Right. Oh, we jump on him. Okay. Oh, okay. well, it's, oh, it's kind of cool. I, I'm finding it hard to get super hyped, but that was a cool animation, yeah. I like they let me start charging up in the middle of the cutscene, too. That was good. Alright, so we just wait for him. There we go. We tap, we tap. I understand. Oh fuck. Get get on there. Alright. See I'm char like, I'm charging on the way down. That's cool. And yeah, the it's it's good good enemy animations overall, I would say. It's been good. The the, an Oof. the animation work is good. I can't concentrate. Right. Okay, we're good. Fuck. Ow. I'm still not great, but I'm getting there. This guy does look kind of dumb, just design-wise, though. I will say that. Fuck, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. I'm dead. Rip. Wait, no, I'm not dead, because I get, I get the, the Kingdom Hearts thing, where you can take one last hit. Sick. And I didn't get the chance to do the damage again. Ow, I've lost it. Yeah, it's another wacky inflatable arm flailing tube, man, and I'm, I'm back down to no health again, so I'm not going to be able to take advantage, probably. Okay, uh, yeah, here comes the damage again. I'm in a failure loop. I hate... I hate when that happens in games, when the game just makes it so that you can't recover. You keep being put in a desperate situation so you can't progress. It's not worth it trying to sense move half these things. It's better to just jump. Because then I know a jump will work. A sense move is not reliable. Jesus Christ. <sighs> well, I, I don't feel happy about how that fight went because they basically give you free healing as long as you can stand still for long enough. And they give you the one last hit. So, like, any amount of damage you take doesn't matter as long as you're not on 1-0 when it's, like, flickering like that. Uh, where are we going? Are we, are we just jumping down? No. Maybe? Well, the lava went down. This bitch makes the lava? Maybe. It seems that way. Maybe, uh, maybe it's like that dragon, that fat-ass dragon in Wind Waker. Wait, it's the way we came in. Are we going out the way we came in? I, I guess. It's like that fat-ass dragon in Wind Waker that's blocking the volcano with his ass. Oh, for... Uh, he's, he was probably just blocking some magma tube with his, with his rear. And then w when we killed him, it got unblocked so the lava could flow again. Yeah, Valu's ass. Exactly. I guess we're going back down. I don't know. Because the map the map we're in the room we're in on the map isn't the room we're in. So I have absolutely no idea where we're going. 
The map is not great sometimes. I don't know why my missile wouldn't fire there. Accurate, what's more, what looks more ass visually? This or Prime 1 Magmore Caverns? Um, hmm. I think most of my issue with Magmore Caverns isn't the visuals, although they're not super great. It's more that it's just a straight line. And this entire game has been a straight line so far, which I don't like. So, oh, we can go further down than we were, I think. I mean, this doesn't look great, really. Uh, it's, it's not good. I, I'm going to say this is worse, but for everything else and not the visuals. Magmor. Magmor is kind of lame, but it has it has other stuff in it. I prefer Magmor. Valu's ass have a scorpion on it? I don't know. I still haven't fully played Wind Waker. I need to go back to that. Uh, Leap of Faith, or... Okay, Leap of Faith. Good. Only kind of ass I see visually simulating is Samus's ass. I guess. Yeah. You still need to pay your fines, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, we can jump on these. I thought we couldn't because they were spiky. But apparently we can. That's way easier, then. We can freeze them to make it easier. Kamu, you, didn't, you don't need to pay a fine. You're innocent. You can, Don't pay on his behalf. He doesn't deserve it. And yeah, yeah I, I really liked what I did play of it, because I played uh, some of it on the uh, the Wii U uh, re-release, and I enjoyed it a lot. I just didn't get around to finishing it. It was really good. I haven't played that many Zeldas, really. I've been recommended to play Twilight Princess. I haven't played that either. And of course, this is the, you know, Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time. I haven't played those either. I see that, but we can't do anything with it. Okay. And way to three, I guess. Is there a weird sound delay on the game or am I on crack drugs? Yes. Um, people pointed it out earlier and I, I apparently fixed it to some degree. I don't know. Maybe it could have gotten worse. Twilight Princess has its flaws, but it's well worth playing. I probably will at some point. But yeah, the, so, someone pointed out that there was audio delay earlier and I tried to fix it a bit. I can I can push it a bit more. It's just that we didn't. Uh, we didn't stop to precisely get it, but I can I can try and fix it some more. If I can set it to minus 300 milliseconds, that might be better. Well, it'll, that'll probably be better-ish. I mean, the funny robot man isn't delayed. Well, yeah, I'm I I should be okay, but um, yeah, there won't be any delay like between my voice and like my um my my visor moving. But apparently there was some delay with game sound. So I've I've tweaked that a bit. I'd like it to be better, even if it's not, you know. Even if it doesn't make like the viewing experience that much worse, I would like it to be as good as I can make it, ideally. Gotta gotta make up for uh, everything else about me somehow. I can't do either of those kind of Aren't these both super missile doors? Right? Super missile. Oh, that's a power bomb door. Right, yeah. My mistake. Yes. Just two doors I can't do anything with. Right, get clowned on. No, that's not. Yeah, that's how you get clowned on. Just get shot in the head repeatedly. Sorry, no authorization for power bombs. Even though there's absolutely no one nearby. There's no one here. Like, no one at risk. Well, I, hold on. Well... Part of the mission here is to uh, is to get survivors, even though I'm sure there aren't going to be any. So we don't know if there's going to be survivors behind any of these doors. Coincidentally, no authorization for fun either. Yeah. Well, speaking of which, we're probably going to call it here now that I found a save point after my molding. But we're going to go watch those Nintendo Direct trailers, at least. Yes, thank you. Yes, another straight line for me to go in. Thank you. I love molding with Acrius. It's it's one of the few things I'm good at. Right, okay. That's where we're going to call it for today, at least with this game. Because fuck this game. Holy shit. Um, let me... What can I switch to? Yeah, let's switch to this while I figure everything out. Uh, we just It's just going to take me a minute to set up 
um, everything. Oh, and a, a link, a link. Let's have a look. There is news. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> oh God, I'm so happy. Right, we're gonna we're gonna look at that. Samus has a VA, right? Why is there no dialogue if we're asking for authorization? Well, I assume because the writers didn't know what to do. Yeah, I know. I know. I missed the live broadcast, but. Uh, I talked about it a bit before how I'm I'm not really bothered about watching these kinds of things live because most of the time it's going to be stuff I don't care about, largely. Um, all right, let's open this up. Uh, just take me a minute because I I don't have this set up ahead of time. It's, it's largely stuff I don't care about, and then I can just I can hear I can hear what's good after the fact, and then. Um, uh, 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 yeah, I can hear what's good after the fact, and it'll be cool. So let me just okay, okay. I'll 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 sort this out real quick. Kirby is 3D and Shady is cooming. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure. Well, there might be uh, you might be interested in these in-universe information things on the grad website. I'll have a look in a minute. Uh, but we'll watch these trailers first. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. So we'll do we'll do bayonet first, I guess. Uh, three. I would, I would guess that the writer wasn't involved in the level design. Yeah. Oh my god, that haircut. Oh my god, that haircut. I'm seeing it. Holy shit. Holy shit, she's so hot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just fucking reactions. Show me the... Yeah, that's the trail. Oh my fucking god. Bayonetta is so hot. I can't fucking believe it. This is a fucking ad. I don't want to see this ad. I've got to, I've got to wait out this ad. Sorry, guys. I am fucking nutty. Ooh. Right, yeah, let me set this up. Fucking ads. Because I'm doing it in, in, in incog incognito mode to avoid yabs. Yeah, here we are. Fuck off YouTube Premium. Yes. Yeah, it is the, the hairstyle from when she was young. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, let me set up the capture real quick. Real quick. Um, we want to have... Mm -mm 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 -mm. I had something for this. Yeah, I did. There it is. Right. Oh, no, I had a different thing for this. Um. Uh... Yes, I did. Wait, did I? No, I know. Yeah, okay. I can set up like this. It's fine. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was this. Okay. Ah, that's already... I think it's already cropped, right? Oh, maybe it's not. Mm, vaguely. Yeah. Okay, the cropping might be a little bit fucked. But yeah, that's sick. That's sick. Okay. Right, here we go. Here we go. Let's watch this shit. Let me turn audio back on. Here we go. Here we go. Gameplay trailer. I didn't know there was gameplay. Let's see. Let's see. Hanging out in Shibuya. Or not Shibuya. I guess. Oh no, it's Tokyo Jungle. Oh no, it's not Tokyo Jungle. Maybe I should do watch alongs of these kind of things, could be fun. Jesus, hello. Okay. I can't even tell if that's an angel or a demon, because as far as I remember, they both link they both look kind of distinctly different from that. It was kinda of weird. Hmm. I knew this platinum, but I was like, is this fucking Astral Chain? Oh, that would be awful. Oh, God. I played a bit of Astral Chain, and I did not enjoy that very much. Oh, God. If Bayonetta 3 is bad, I'm going to fucking... I'm going to fucking mold harder than you've ever seen before. Fuck that. Yeah, just a bunch of losers getting... Yeah, yeah platinum, baby. Yes. Oh no, it is Astral Chain! That fucker is from Astral Chain! That- that's- that mascot character is from Astral Chain! They were totally doing a fake out, the fuckers. Yeah, there she is! They fucking know. Coming in with the better front. Holy shit, look at her shoes! Holy shit, she looks amazing! Her outfit- Oh my god! Yeah, and she's purple now, instead of blue or red. Oh my- God. It's got three barrels! Yo! 
Oh, man. Yeah, I need to listen to this music. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, that... It looks good. It looks good. And the twin tails. Woo! What is that? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She looks fucking amazing. This is... This is my new favorite Bayo design. This... She looks fucking beautiful. Yeah! I... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me more. Show me more. I love the the gold parts on the suit, to, uh, on the outfit too. Wait for it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Summoning demons. I know this. Yeah, I know. We we fought that guy in too. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. I see. She's V. She's V! Oh my god, she's V! She's V! She actually is V! Holy shit! Active summons! It's Gri It's Griffin! Yeah, it's, that's that's fucking what's his name from one who V didn't get. Um I can't remember his name, but the lava spider, yeah, that's him! What's his fucking name? That is just that is just a dude from DMC1. Bayonet 3. Holy shit, more! Oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez, this looks so fucking good. I fucking hope Platinum is back with this. Yeah, what about the guy? What about Virgil? Show me Virgil. Hmm? Right? Whom? Oh. Who the... Who, oh fuck. Who the fuck is that? He's got white hair, so I think that could be the guy from 2 and 1. Yeah, we'll watch Kirby next. This fucking guy. Who the fuck are you? I mean, he's got a katana, but it's on his back. He's got, like, a charm on it, too. This might be a completely new character, actually. Um, I kind of doubt it would be... I can't remember his fucking name. But the main villain from 1, and he becomes Virgil in 2, basically. Because... It might be John, but... It would it would be an extreme makeover. I I don't know. It could be just someone new, because with the guy, um, the guy in two and one, he the whole the whole overall plot of one and two is that he gets stuck in a time loop between one and two. It's Henry Cooldown. Oh no, not DMC DMC Virtual. That's even worse. But um, yeah, because at the end of Bayo two, that guy gets sent back in time to I think before the events of one. And then it pops up with the title card for Bayonetta 1, which is one of my favorite endings in a character action game. And nobody ever talks about it, but um, it it was really sick. So I don't think it's him because he's been sent back to the past and he's now in an infinite loop of Bayonetta 1 and 2. But right, okay, let me just uh, switch back again so we can go watch Kirby. I'm interested in that, that final person. Kirby. Oh wait, that it's right there. I didn't have to search for it. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Giancarlo Esposito, please go away. I don't want to play your game. Right, here we go. You're a good actor, but I, I don't want to play Far Cry. But they were absolutely doing the fucking uh, Astral Chain fake out at the start. That's hilarious. I really I really hope they're back. I, I would kill for a good Platinum game again. That looks nice. Visually, I mean. I haven't played... I, actually, I don't know if I've played any Kirby games. This is a reference to an old GameCube prototype game. Oh, cool. I know there's a few on the virtual consoles on the Switch, so we could play those. I don't know if any of those are good, though. I don't know what the good ones are. Hey, the baby. Watch the presentation about the next Mario Entertainment. No, I heard about it. I know about the cast. I, I, I might just watch it, but it sounds fucking awful. Wasn't Earth frozen over in Kirby 64? Yeah, they had something like that, I think. Yeah, Keegan Michael Key. Oh God, it's what a ridiculous cast. Here we go. It's a full 3D Kirby too. This is great. I was I was watching someone a while ago who was basically asking for exactly this, where like, you know, give us a new Kirby, yeah, but make it something new, like make it fully 3D, like innovate on Kirby a bit. This is it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, I was expecting it to be another one of the the regular side-scrolling ones, but no, this is this is legit. This is like Kirby Odyssey, basically. 
Hell yeah, hell yeah. The boys, the powers, yes. Cute as hell. Suchinoko real. They were prototyping this exact style of gameplay in one of the Robobots uh, mini side games. Ah, cool. Oh! Oh, you, oh fucking hell. You can play... Um, I, why have I forgotten the name of the, the beloved game franchise? But yeah. Big, big monkey. Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Hell yeah. Looks good. Looks good. Might get it. Yeah, Katamari. Katamari. Yeah, you can be a Katamari. Sick. And there's more stuff. Show me more. Show me the more stuff. Okay. In this new game, you can freely move yeah. In 3D areas using okay. I'll play the shit out of this because uh, I, you know, I, obviously everyone likes Kirby, and I need to get into Kirby. And I loved Odyssey, so it's, if it's got like the exploration and the hidden stuff, and maybe using certain consumed powers to get like stars or star equivalents, that would be sick. I'd love that. Okay. Metroid Dreadlord trailer. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let me just switch back so we don't see any ads. I, I will not forcibly subject you to any YouTube ads. You don't deserve it. It's a fucking Lego ad. Yeah, this is the right one. Skip ad. Fuck off. Metroid Dread. Let's go. There she is. My girl in a new suit. I've got, I've got my ad block because I'm just, I'm just doing... Oh, hold on. Before... Hold on. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. Before you say anything, do not, do not, do not ever assume I would not use an ad blocker. I go out of my way to block ads in absolutely every capacity, and I encourage you to do the same. But I'm, I'm just, I'm just watching this in an incognito browser so I don't yab myself or something. I'm just being careful. Anyway. But yeah, ad block, ad block is good. Yes, Emmy. Seen that. Ooh. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Big thing. I think we, I, we may have seen this before. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's kind of like an Aurora unit, isn't it, actually? The thing that gives you the, the, the hyper beam, or whatever it's called. Hmm, I hadn't thought about that. Well, I hadn't played Prime 3 then. Yeah, it is like an Aurora unit. Hey, Kraid, my boy Kraid. That's definitely new footage of Kraid. So, let's go. I guess we'll watch that other trailer I haven't watched after this. The big boy, yeah. We've seen that. I don't know if you've seen the blue Emmy before, but maybe the other trailer. Alright, that... Oh, wait, no. It's not, it's not even halfway over. Never mind. I was like, that was nothing. Samus Aran, the most powerful bounty mm -hmm. hunter in the galaxy, embarks on a new mission. Yeah, there is going to be. Yeah, fuck yeah, there's going to be Chozo Law. There's Chozo Law in Samus Returns that directly links to this. Like that big Chozo guy that makes her lose all her powers. He he appears. You see him in a picture, but still, you see him. Yeah, new planet. Let's go. Ooh, area names. Mm -hmm. It fucking looks lovely, too. Oh, no. Flashbacks. That's the area we were just in. Oh. It's in a better game. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yes. Yes, this is what I want to know about. Oh, yes. That's the site I need to go look at. Yeah, we're going to go read that right now. Is there anything else? That's just the website. Okay, right. We're going to go to that website. I'm going to I'm gonna post that link again. I think that's it. Um, Literally in two weeks. Yeah, I can't wait. Shouldn't have scrolled down there. Anyway. Uh, right, yeah. I think this doesn't fuck up. My, uh, let me actually, yeah, let me switch over to the other thing. But yeah, it looks fantastic, uh, all uh, all around. Uh, I don't think that's it. Where is the? Well, there's all, there's all the stuff. Planet ZDR. Okay, I clicked on Planet ZDR. I'm gonna read that. Oh hi, Atten. Um, we I I don't know how far back uh you you went, but we. Uh, I like the stuff that I saw. I mean, I didn't. I didn't watch the whole direct. I just waited until it was over and then watched the trailers for the stuff I care about. 
Um, Bayonetta 3 looks fucking fantastic. Uh, I I really hope I really hope Platinum's back. Um, Bayonetta's design is fucking gorgeous. I love her hair and her outfit. The gameplay looks fantastic. I do know about the cursed movie. I haven't watched the part of the direct, and I'm not going to. I'm uh, okay. Here's what I t I'll say about this. Video game movies aren't worth making, and they're not worth my time. They're definitely not worth yours. So I'm not going to engage with any media regarding it. I'm not going to watch it. I'm certainly not going to watch it. I'm not going to give them any money for the fucking thing. And neither should you. You shouldn't watch movies that you think are going to be bad. And yes, I saw about the Sega Genesis and the M64 thing. I know we're getting... A, we're getting Aria, apparently? A Castlevania... Uh, Aria of Sorrow, whatever it's called? Something about that? Yes, uh, well, I mean, I didn't watch the Sonic movie because I saw the trailers, even the ones after they slightly unfucked the design. I saw it, and I was like, this isn't worth my time. So I didn't watch it, and that was it. I didn't even... Because that, that's what some people do, is they'll spend money on these movies, and it'll... They, they fund it, even though they're like, oh, it's so... It's gonna be, it's gonna be so bad, guys. We're gonna go see it. It's gonna be hilarious. No, you're funding bad movies. Don't do that. I know what, full Castlevania collection almost. Yeah, the advanced collection. You know, I, I mentioned it. I mentioned it when it was going on, and uh, Monkey was reporting on what was happening. And I, um, before, before, before this, I've been thinking about other stuff I'm gonna do after the Metroid marathon, and I was. Uh, over the last few days, maybe thinking of play, uh, of maybe doing a, a Castlevania marathon, or maybe, maybe not the entire franchise, because that's a lot. But I definitely like to play some Castlevania. You won't know if it's good or bad unless you try. Well, I won't know. You're right. You're right. That's a good point, and I've heard this kind of point um, in regard to this kind of thing before. You're right. I won't know for sure whether it's good or bad, but. Be being nearly immortal as I am, it's still nearly immortal, and I only have so much time on this earth, and I have to ask myself, am I willing to spend my limited time on this earth watching a movie that I have no interest in and that I fully expect to be complete hot garbage? If they made a Metroid movie, you wouldn't watch it. Probably. I mean, it depends. I. I'm I may be overgeneralizing a bit when I say that no video game movie is ever worth like ever worth making. But you know, if I if I had a, if I if I saw the trailers and stuff and thought it looked good, I would watch it. It's it's that simple. Yeah, we're watching it now. It's called it's called Other M. But yeah, if they made that kind of thing and it looked like they were making Other M the movie, then I just wouldn't watch it. Even if I do love Metroid, I wouldn't fund that kind of thing, because it's not the kind of thing I want to be funded. It's not the kind of thing I want to see made, you know? You vote you vote with your wallet. Sakamoto said that's the Metroid movie. Oh, God. Wow. I mean, he's not wrong. There's a lot of fucking cutscenes. Anyway, anyway, I was looking at this CDR thing. Discover a sprawling world. I don't know if any of this is new. How much of it is new? I think they're... Oh, the central units. But yeah, we won't... We won't mess around with this too much. Ah, you've got to fight. You've got to fight the central units to get access to the Omega Stream, and then you can kill enemies in the area. That's cool. Okay. The Chozo Warriors. Chozo sightings are typically rare. As the last remaining, remaining members of the once mighty civilization tried to keep a low profile. That's new. Never heard that before. So they're not wiped out. They're just hiding. But the Chozo that Samus encounters on ZDR is on the warpath, ready to lay waste to whoever crosses it. And Fierce Fauna. Yes, we kill the animals. We know. And hidden item, hidden item hints. Glowing places indicate there are hidden items within that range. Ah! Oh, okay, so that's how they're indicating secrets. That's cool. Icon highlight. Highlight and view the same type of map icon across all area maps. Uh, handy for identifying newly accessible areas after obtaining an ability. That's an awesome quality of life thing. Wow. Custom markers, yeah. Only six of them. Okay. And terrain outlines. That's good. Cool. Lot doors. Yes. Helpful spots. Save stations. Network station. We can talk to Adam, the good one. 
Map station teleportals. They work in color coded pairs. Using one will warp you to its match. That's how I assumed the, the teleporters were going to work in Samus Returns. But they, they just did it as a an overall fast travel network. But no. Now they're actually making it so that you have to think more about which teleporters you use. I like that. That's what I was hoping for. And a recharge station. Alright, cool. Shit, yeah. Okay, I need to get my pre-order in real soon. That looks great. We can read up on Samus. Become the ultimate warrior. Not that one. Not the wrestler. Samus can acquire and use powerful abilities to navigate a dangerous world. Get to know some of the skills and tools that will help push it onward. <laughs> Jump out of the rocket ship, Samus Aran. Standard abilities. Move through the world and with nothing. Free aim. Yeah, that looks fantastic. And it was great in returns. Go down. Yes, uh, yes, this is the latest in the timeline. This is after fusion. Um, that's why she has the kind of um, fibrous materials in the on the under like in her undersuit because it's remnants from the fusion suit. And yes, Adam is uh, still around, and he's I think he's the onboard computer. But you can still talk to him all around the map the same way you do as in fusion, which I'm looking forward to in both games. Yeah, free aim, melee counter is back. Yes, strike at the weak point with a powerful attack. Seems like it works similarly to Sam's returns, which is great. Dash melee. Counter on the move and maintain momentum with a dash melee. Samus can jump in close to the enemy and use her counter as an offensive attack. That looks fucking fantastic. I've seen that in the trailers and I'm glad to see um, I didn't mistake that. Because um, that's new. Because you could only parry... I think... I, I don't remember if you could parry in the air. But you could only really parry while stationary before. Which kind of um, made you turtle a bit. For this you can do kind of a, an offensive defense thing where you do a dash forward that's also a, a parry. That's sick. Slide. Keep momentum going by moving through small gaps without stopping. Oh, so you don't have to morph ball through like small gaps. You can just slide through. That's cool. Ledge grab, of course. Ledge grab. You can fire around cannon missile attacks, use free aim and melee counter. Yep, good. Beam attacks. Power beam. That's normal. Charge beam. Wide beam. Fire three simultaneously. Yeah, standard. Beam can push wide beam boxes and destroy wide beam covers. Okay. And the grapple beam. Uh, it looks like it's basically the same as the grapple beam uh, from Returns, but we have like grapple, whole grapple surfaces instead of grapple blocks. Which, uh, yeah, definitely allows for more stuff. Cool. Open grapple doors. Manipulate part of the environments and damage some enemies. Cool. Cool. Ability upgrade is morph ball, missile, bomb, spider magnet. Yeah, this I've been looking forward to. Samus can move, shoot, and counter while hanging onto blue magnetic strips attached to select walls and ceilings. So it's like the spider ball, but it's not a morph ball thing. Cool. And speed booster, of course. It's it's speed booster. A on abilities. Here we go. Samus can channel this, uh, channel this uh, mystical self replenishment. I can't speak. Self-replenishing energy source to great strategic advantage. Each ability uses energy from the Aeon Gauge. So, Phantom Cloak, we've seen this one. Optical camouflage, yeah. So you can stealth from enemies and stuff. Uh, customer energy is... Oh, you can use energy for it if you're depleted on Aeon as well. Flash shift. <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> Holy shit. Got fellas, if you're on this site, go to the Samus page and look at flash shift. That's sick! It's, it's air trick. She can air trick. Oh no, she can ground trick as well. She just has trickster as an Aeon ability. What the fuck? Oh my god. Super fast movement that lets Samus travel a set distance up to three times in a row. As it can be used in, on the ground and in the air, it's handy for exploration and battle alike. That's going to be so good for platforming and exploring too. But yeah, go on, go on that site I linked. Uh, well, actually, I'll, I'll post the new link for the page I'm actually on. Go here, scroll down, look at Aeon abilities, look at the, the gif they have for Flash Shift, and tell me that's not just Trickster. She's like doing it backwards too. That's so, that's so stylish. Oh man, I love that. And Pulse Radar. Send out a pulse of Aeon to find hidden destructible walls in Samus of Cine. Depletes the entire Aeon gauge in one go. Wow, okay, wow, wow, wow. 
Okay. So they've they've nerfed it from Samus Returns because it used to be that it would reveal a massive portion of the map and reveal all hidden blocks and only deplete like a tiny amount of Aeon. But now it takes the entire bar. Wow. That is a nerf, but I I'd, I'd say that's fair. Yeah, yeah. So oh, critical suit upgrades help Samus survive harsh environments and safely reach new areas. I'm going to have to draw these at some point. Power suit. Re previously, an emergency removal of X parasite infected parts resulted in a power suit taking on an organic appearance. Now her standard suit is gradually returning to its original mechanical form. Oh, so she's she's healing. That's why it looks different. Okay, cool. And the Varia suit. Reduces damage taken from enemy attacks and insulates Samus from extreme heat. But she remains vulnerable to extreme cold and lava. Extreme cold. Ooh. Slightly increases damage for dash melee. Ooh. Tap into more power with amiibo. Oh no, what does it do? Tap in, tap any Metroid series amiibo once per day for an in-game bonus. Scan the new Samus amiibo for an extra energy tank to increase your health one by 100 once per save file. That better not, I, I better not, like, take away uh, an energy, an E-tank that we could have otherwise and just make it unaccessible. I better be able to get that in gameplay. The Emmy amiibo grants a missile tank, a muscle, <laughs> fucking, a missile tank to increase Samus' myth capacity by 10. Oh, wow. Um, missile tanks are 10 now? Okay. Tap any Samus or Zero Suit Samus amiibo figure to replenish some health once per day for each. Tap the Emmy, Ridley, Dark Samus or Metroid amiibo figure to replenish some missiles once per day for each. Okay. And that's it for Samus. Story. Guess we can read this. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a it's a really cool design. I love it. It's one of my favorites already. Ooh, and I'm on the uh, the story page now, and I'm liking the the model they have for the classic Varia suit. That looks nice. A cryptic transmission. Video footage from an unknown source indicates that the deadly X parasite, thought to have been eradicated, may still live. The Galactic Federation dispatches a special unit consisting of seven Emmy robots to the remote planet ZDR, believed to be the source of the transmission. Soon after arriving on ZDR, the whole unit vanishes. As the only one immune to the X-Parasite, intergalactic bounty hunter Samus Aran is sent in to find out what happened. Shortly after landing, a mysterious foe traps Samus deep below the surface of this dangerous world. Now Samus must hunt or be hunted as she makes her way through a labyrinth of enemies to reach the surface. We knew that. Samus Aran, a super skilled bounty hunter who has single-handedly confronted and defeated some multiple galactic threats. Samus was raised by the Chozo on planet Zebes after tragically losing her parents at the hands of the space pirates. She is said to be the strongest warrior in the galaxy. Damn fucking right she is. Emmy. The extraplanetary multiform mobile identifiers at Emmy are large, highly agile research robots equipped with the ability to extract DNA. Originally dispatched by the Galactic Federation for research purposes to planet ZDR, these extremely deadly robots are now in relentless pursuit of Samus. Got it. I'm just going to read all these. This is our primer. The Chozo. Known to be an intelligent species capable of developing amazing technologies such as morph balls, such as those used by Samus, once a powerful force intent on achieving galactic harmony, the few remaining Chozo mostly try to avoid attention. Relics of their civilization are found throughout the galaxy. They've kind of... I don't know if they ever directly established before that the Chozo were wiped out or if it was just mysterious, but now they're really intent on just saying, no, the Chozo are still around, they're just reduced in number and in hiding. Which is neat. They're definitely doing a lot more with the Chozo now. X Parasite. We'll learn about this soon. A terrifyingly lethal parasite that could take over organic creatures, mimicking them afterward based on their genetic information. Metroid. Oh, we don't even get. Oh, there's not even an in-game picture of a Metroid. It's just a hologram of a Metroid. Oh, the baby. This enigmatic floating life form was artificially created by the Chozo to destroy the dangerous X Parasite found on planet SR388. Now extinct, oh, the Metroid could attach onto other organisms and absorb their energy. We better see another Metroid in this game. And Adam. Spoilers, by the way. Uh, the computer on board Samus' ship. While Samus ultimately calls the shots, Adam may have helpful info to share. Uh, look, <laughs> they specifically say, Samus ultimately calls the shots because it's Adam and because of other M. God bless. Ooh, mission history. Metroid. We did that. Metroid 2, Return of Samus, Super Metroid. I'm not going to read all these. 
Uh, I might read all these before we actually play Dread, but Metroid Fusion, this is a lot of text. We'll get there. And yeah, they don't, they don't, well, they don't, they also don't include Prime, so it's not a thing specifically against Other M, but they don't include Other M in this timeline either. It's just the mainline games. Metroid 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Become the ultimate warrior. Power up. What a, what a prompt. All right, yeah. I think that's everything um, that I, that I wanted to look at. So, we'll probably call it there. Um, I was going to say, as terrible this, as this game is, we're going to keep playing it. It's not that bad. The story stuff is terrible. The way you get upgrades is unacceptably bad. But gameplay-wise, it's fine. Uh, also, the level design sucks, because it's all straight corridors and cutscenes. But yeah. When do you stream next? Uh, next stream is starting at the same time on Saturday. That's uh, 8 p.m. UTC. We'll be playing this again. You can also check my schedule on Twitter. It's always pinned on there. Um, and I, have, I have a command for this. I need to remember. It's, it's, it, it wasn't that good. Let me do the, do the command. Okay. Does that work? Yes, it does. Uh, you can follow me there. Uh, my schedule is always on there, along with other shit posts and other, uh, art and video editing. And my, other, my other art project that I was talking about last time is coming along swimmingly. So it'll be done soon, but it'll still be a little while before you see it. It should be next month. But yeah, thank you all very much for coming along. Let's find someone to raid. Hmm, who's on? Who's on? Uh, let's see. Hmm, <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay, Egg's on. Let's raid Egg. Egg, Egg's a good boy. He's playing... Playing Victoria 2, ah, cool. I haven't played that, but I, I don't think I have the patience for those kinds of uh, grand strat games. I love watching them, though, so let's go watch Egg. And yes, yes. Thank you all for coming along. I will uh, hopefully see you again on Saturday. Uh, but other than that, uh, thank you all very much for coming along, as usual. <laughs> Had fun. And uh, good evening, or good night, or good morning, or whatever the hell it is over there. I'm going to I'm not going to rest while well. I'm going to keep working on art projects. Uh, but I'll see you next time. Uh, goodbye. Oh, wait, do I? No, I have to wait for the countdown. Ah, I've embarrassed myself. I thought that was going to be the, the slick sign off, but it wasn't. Right, well, this time. Right, see you later. Thank you for coming along.